right? Uh, make a U-turn. There's a Walgreens back uh, on that road right there. Yeah, what's up, guys? All right, sorry. I took a really long fucking shit. I, no, I, t I had to take a really long fuck. I had, like, diarrhea. Like, I had, I had hardcore, like, fucking diarrhea. All right, this is the guy that uh, said he would pick us up. Say hi. Hello. Uh, what's your name? Andre. Andre nice. No, Andre's a nice guy, everybody, and he came to pick us up, and I've been talking to him on Twitter uh, for a while now, actually, huh? Yeah, yeah. I just, I don't know. I just try to help you out. No worries. Uh, we're gonna hit Walgreens right now, right now because I don't know where my fucking batteries went. I think somebody stole my fucking batteries from my house. So we're gonna hit Walgreens real quick, buy some batteries, and we're gonna head out and we're gonna go to. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I really don't want to go to Skid Row with this setup, dude. I, I really think we're gonna die if we go to Skid Row. It's not really that bad. We could just even like, if I'm carrying all this around. We could just like drive by it and you can just document it. How far is it? Thirty minutes. That's traffic. 30 minutes with traffic? Yeah. There's traffic right there. All right. If you guys really want to go to, to take the 30-minute drive to Skid Row, we can do it. I, I, I just personally, I, I don't want to, but I'll do it if you want me to. I just don't want to break. I just don't want my shit getting stolen by a crackhead because crackhead doesn't matter if we're live streaming it. Crackheads don't care. They'll do whatever the fuck they need to do in order to get money. So, uh, And I'm also streaming in 720 instead of 1080 because... Uh, I, just to see how it looks compared, but at the same bit rate of 6,000 uh, bit rate. So I don't know, but yeah, let's go. Let's take the uh, the drive over there and let's go. And, skid Row, or Walgreens. Uh, skid Wal Walgreens first, then Skid Row. Uh, I'm really nervous, y'all. Are you not nervous? Have you ever been there? I've been there a couple times. Yeah. Uh, I do deliveries. Just so deliveries to Skid Row. It, oh yeah, I have like two deliveries to Skid Row. And you're not, and it doesn't scare you at all. I I run in there and I run out basically. I never like walk around there, you know. All right, well we'll drive we'll drive in it. We'll see uh, what it looks like. Maybe talk to some some Skid Row folks, and we'll see what's up. Uh, it is just one of the most dangerous places in America. So, he says it just 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 one of the most dangerous. It's okay, but uh, yeah, I actually feel like really drained right now because I did diarrhea. Like I had diarrhea. Like whenever I have diarrhea, it like drains the fuck out of me. Like it just makes me feel like I just released all of my bodily fluids and energy, so I'll probably get a water as well while we're in Walgreens. This is Walgreens? Yeah, this is Walgreens. I'll, uh, I'll walk in. It's right on that corner there, so. Alright, sick dude, thanks. Alright. Geisha's bored and wants to de- <laughs> She'll get it. Don't worry about that. She'll get it. Alright. Andre's a cool guy. I like him. He's a really cool guy. He's hooking us up with our shit here. Get dry fruits. I'm telling you. Nah, it's okay. I don't need the dry fruits. Just get in Walgreens. Get some water. Actually, I, I, all right, I'll get some water. We are in a car. Get some water. I'll get the batteries for the mic because the mic's about to die. And then I'll uh, we'll head over and <laughs> not die. Hopefully not. We'll see what's up. Skid Row contains one of the largest stable populations to have homeless people. Yeah, that's why I'm scared because it's fucking it's hardcore, dude. But uh, I think I'm going to go to Fanime tomorrow as well. Uh, so this, I, I didn't even know it started. I thought it started like next week. I didn't even know it started. So I'm gonna actually gonna I'm probably gonna hit Fanime up next uh, tomorrow and just see what the fuck's going on. I don't have a ticket or anything, but I think I, I think I have some. I think I know some people that can get me in. So I'm gonna try and like pretty much focus. Like I'm just gonna I'm gonna assume they can just get me in based on like connections and stuff. So we'll see. All right, low key. <clears throat> Batteries, where they at? I mean, I think it'd be fun. I think it'd be good content. I think it'd be funny. A lot of, a lot of little anime girls running around, like, dressed in a little cute senpai shit. I, just, I don't know. And me being the, the tall, non-Asian guy that I am, I feel like I could uh, get a lot of these women, you know what I mean? A lot of these uh, fucking anime women. Where are the batteries? Oh, yeah, they're over here. I forgot. The batteries are locked, and I got a call for help. Excuse me. Can I get uh, the double A's, please? Because they're all locked because people steal these batteries. 
People love to steal batteries, huh? Yeah, that's some shit. I would never do that. John Hicks almost got robbed in Skid Row with the cam. The double A's, please. Uh, the, let me see, the, these right here. Have you ever been to Skid Row? Me? Mm hmm. I have, Why? How was it? Uh, in different states, right? I used to live in Pennsylvania. No, the one in here in LA. Yeah, I, I mean, I passed by it, but I haven't. Oh, okay. Actually, I'm going there right now. Oh, really? Think I'm going to get stabbed? Uh, no. That's really fine. All are, right. you take, are you taking that with you? Yeah. You'll be fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, it's only crackheads with knives. Yeah. Not bad. <sighs> Why, uh, how come you haven't been in, though? Yeah, right. I, you know, as a matter of fact, I used to, um, work that way, so... I mean, that oh. Kind of, yeah. oh, okay. Yeah, that's no worries. Yeah, sweet. Thanks, man. Yeah, appreciate it, dude. All right, he unlocked the batteries for us. We'll be okay. We'll be good. We'll be good. Who stole the battery? Uh, I don't know. I just don't know where the batteries. I don't know where my batteries are. Let me get some Reese's. I know. See, it, may, it makes it look like. Aisha, this kid row. No, I don't want her to get raped by a homeless guy. Because if we get attacked by like a gang of them, I mean, there's I'm, every man for themselves. I mean, Geisha, I love you. Uh, well, not really, but I like you. But uh, if you, if we get ganged on by like four dudes, I'm out. I'm sorry. I ain't, I ain't getting I ain't getting stabbed for nobody. Hello. Rewards card. And the batteries. Would you guys get jumped for a girl, yes or no? I wouldn't. Maybe. It, it depends on who the girl is. Not by four dudes, by like one guy. your health is more important in this world than anything else. And that's not even narcissistic, that's just fact. Alright. Let's fucking do it. Alright. Alright, let's get over there. We got the batteries, we got everything, let's head over. God. Let me eat this fucking Reese's real quick as well, because I just don't feel good. I need to get my energy, especially if we're going to be over there. Because in case we do get jumped, I, I got to be able to run. I mean, running with this, running with this setup is going to be very. It would be so hard if I drop something. I'm not going back for it because I don't want to die. But oh god, I'm so fucking unhealthy. I'm such a fuck. I'm so fucked. This is also what happens when you don't. I legit had. I, I just haven't had anything to eat. Just half that fucking sandwich that I showed you this morning. Because like I said, I woke up five minutes before I... I was actually supposed to start my stream, so... That's, didn't give me any time to wait to even wake up or get food or anything, so... Thank you, man. Okay. Who? Oh, he walked by? That's our fucking homie. Oh shit. All right. All right, y'all. On our way to on our way. Let's let's do it. Are you not nervous at all? Uh, a little bit. I'm nervous being on the stream. 
You're more nervous of the stream than you are going to the most yeah. dangerous place in America. Uh, not yet. Not yet. Give it time. But uh, <laughs> all right. I mean, it's not. Does being on stream really make you like? Why does it make you nervous? I don't know. Just camera shy, I guess, a little bit. I mean, I used to be camera shy as well. But then, I mean, if you don't actually see the people, so you can yeah. just. I just pretend there's all, there's only like zero people watching. Yeah. It's like that thing is not even on. <sighs> Sorry, I had to. My blood sugar is dropping. I had to. Had to eat this. Don't worry, buddy. He got me a Red Bull as well. Andre. I fucking love you, man. Yeah, you could call me Heisenberg. Heisenberg. I fucking love you, man. How uh, how old are you? I'm 30, actually. Nice. One of the older crowds. And you, and you like my streams. I really enjoy it. It's really funny. I mean, yesterday I was just laughing the whole time. I listen to your stuff while I drive. Mm -hmm. I have you on uh, kind of like a podcast setup. On the radio? Not on the radio. Just on the phone. I just don't see what you're doing. I just listen to the whole thing. It's just hilarious. And uh, when did you start watching? Somewhere around when you went to Red Bull's house with MDM. That was really interesting. Because uh, I like Red Bull a lot. I watch the streams a lot. And then when you went to his house, that's kind of like when I started paying attention. Hmm. What do you think about the whole Red Bull versus Mitch thing going on right now? Red Bull doesn't like Mitch? Mm-hmm. What about uh, Soda Pop? Well, they're saying Rackful's a sociopath. That's what Mitch is saying. Uh, do you want to take the freeway or do you want to go on the streets? Let's take the freeway. Cornbread's in Skid Row now? No. No. Not yet. I mean, I'm joking. No, he's not. He's fine. Yeah, I got no place to sleep tonight. I was going to ask. Hmm? I got no place to sleep tonight. I could use your couch or something. What do you mean you have nowhere to sleep tonight? I'm just joking. I'm just joking. <laughs> okay. I was about to say, I was like, uh, I think we found a new cornbread. No, yeah, I mean, I'm joking, dude. I'm about sort of. I was like, I was like, huh? No, I'm just, so, what do you do? Like, what, what, what's your work? Um, I, I worked at Twitch for like two years. Yo, check for wallet. Thank you, dude. I, I got, a, I got my wallet. It's fine. You worked at Twitch? Yeah. No, I'm just joking. No, uh, I just, You're a fucking jokester, aren't you? I do deliveries, basically. Uh, for what, like Postmates or? Pharmacy, like yeah. like weed. No, I really don't want to go into details because I don't blame you. Yeah, I don't fucking blame you, yeah. dude. They'll find, they'll find, they'll find you, and I don't want them to. Uh, but okay, that's cool. That's uh, that's cool. What do you think about uh, Andy? You like Andy? Which one? Uh, Milanakis. I mean, yesterday I spent three hours arguing with one of his fanboys. Really? Oh, yeah. About three what? Hours. Well, okay. We were just going at it for like three hours on Reddit. It's like a 50, uh, 50 reply page of just BS. I think you're a drug dealer. I'm a drug dealer? Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, shit, well, I didn't... That, that's funny. That's, that, you argue with Andy's fanboy? That's fucking funny, dude. What was it, Andy? I don't know, because that guy was like... It might have just been Andy, his alt account. I'm joking. Somebody's gonna be like, "Oh, sneak test." No, I'm joking. It's a fucking joke. It's a fucking joke. Everybody needs to relax. I wish I forgot to bring my wide-angle lens, so I have my zoom lens instead. So uh, I'm like having a hard time getting everything in the in the frame right now. But it's not a big deal. It's fine. All right. So it's like a 30-minute drive, huh? Legit 30 minutes there. 24. Oh, 24 minutes. Sorry, right, that's not bad. Is it like in the what is it like in that like straight up downtown LA? Um, it's a little bit south. Okay. And it's just a lot of homeless people. Just all right. Well, let's let's just let's just take a drive in. Where I don't even want to. I don't know if I, I don't even know if I'm gonna get out of the car. To be honest, we're gonna drive. We're gonna scope the place out. It's all up to you. If it's sketchy as fuck, I may not even get out of the car because seven thousand dollars is in my hand, dude. Okay. And any any homeless guy in the world will stab me for this. No message. Four dollars. Thank you, dude. Last song before you go. I love this. Oh, that was. A, thank you, Alex Jones. Appreciate it. But uh, if I if I see like one homeless guy hanging out by himself, I'll get out and I'll I'll be like, yo, you know, I'll I'll, I'll try to document what's happening. If we see like an abandoned building, maybe we'll go inside. But it all just depends on how sketchy that shit looks. 
You say I'm a pussy. I, if I was going with nothing, I wouldn't be too scared. I'm going with $7,000 in my hand. That's That makes it way more scary. Like, if I... like Keep this in the consideration. If this breaks, not only do I have to spend $7,000 to get it back, but I also have to wait three or four days for it to get shipped into my apartment when I order it again. So that's like four days of no stream if it breaks. You don't seem to understand. Yo, Victor. All right, Victor says he wants to come and he can hold the camera if I'm because I. If, that's actually really good. Yeah, more heads the better. All right, yo, Victor. Yeah, meet. All right, meet us. I don't know. Just we're gonna just meet us over at Skid Row, Victor, and you can hold the camera. So if I'm talking to somebody and I get confronted, I won't be as scared because you hold the camera. And if somebody's coming at you, you run off. You run away, please. Okay, so that now I won't be as scared for my camera. No, no, somebody, somebody, like, that would be good. If he holds the camera and does good camera work, then I won't have to be scared uh, with holding the camera. And I can actually go up to people and talk to people and stuff. If you need an address, we'll give you, I don't even know the address. Uh, do you know an address we're going to? Yeah. I'll text it to you. Actually, uh, do you want to just pick him up? He's like 10 minutes from that area. Yeah, sure. All right, Victor, text me your address again, dude. And we'll, uh, we'll come over and get you. Your mic is hanging off your shirt. I know. I don't know where the clip is. The clip, I lost the clip to the microphone, unfortunately. Like, I just don't know where it is. So the mic is just hanging until I get a new clip. Like, it, it was in my room somewhere. I just couldn't fucking find it. So that's uh, whatever. Do you have a uh, radio, by chance? What kind of music do you like? Uh, do you want to type this on the maps? Now, Victor, if you're coming, you got to promise. You can't get scared. You can't get scared. Even if, if even if it is a little bit sketchy, you have to, you have to just you, you have to just fucking do it, man. You, you can't get scared. You just got to fucking just just stay stay with us, Hugo. Just stay fucking with us, okay? Cuz I know uh people were complaining about that last time on Reddit, so you got to fucking show them how much of a man you were. You got to you got to fucking show them. So just even if you're scared, just fucking just just go in with it, man. I don't know what's going on over here. So this is fucking weird. Bunch of fucking people. What's going on? Excuse me. Excuse me. What is this? What's going on? Oh, it's movie night. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. They got movie night going, and we're over here going to Skid Row. Exactly. What the fuck? All right. So what kind of music do you like? Rap and stuff, or no? Anything you like. Anything I like? All right. I mean, I, I don't want to, like, have you listen to my fucking shit music. Real 92.3. Somebody decided I should move to West Hollywood because it's cheaper over there. Uh... I would maybe, I, I maybe, like, I don't know, it is a little bit cheaper, I guess, but West Hollywood is enough, it's the gay central of Hollywood. And I'm, like, there's nothing wrong with, like, gay people, like, obviously, like, I don't mind it at all. I just, if I'm in the gay central, I just don't want a motherfucker to wake up, or, like, one night, or walk down a sidewalk and just, I, you know, I don't want to get motherfucking catcalled by dudes, I don't want my ass grabbed, I don't want a dick anywhere near my face, like, I just feel like if they seem that I live there, they're going to just try to fuck me way too much. I guess I'll just make, turn on your text to speech voice super chats when you go to Skid Row. I don't have the, the bot with me, so I can't do that, but uh, you want to you want to turn on text to speech Oh, I don't have Team Viewer on my computer. I didn't turn it on on my computer, so fucking rip. But uh, otherwise, that would be, that actually seemed funny. I would get fucking jumped. I'd get fucking murdered 100% if I did that. What I mean is, like, hook it up to the car speakers. I know. I don't have Team Viewer on my computer, though. So I, we can't do the text to speech to read out. Oh, man. No, I'm not. It's not like homophobia. It's just... 
don't know. I just don't want... I, I don't know. It's it's nice over there. I just don't want a bunch of gay dudes hitting on me nonstop. Because uh, it's... Uh, I, like, I, true, I hit on a lot of women, but it's different. They're they're women. They're It's okay. Like, they have vaginas. They have to expect that. I'm joking, but see, not really. Sort of, kind of. I don't know. So tell me about yourself, man. I mean, anything. Anything interesting. What brings you to Hollywood? Yeah, what, what makes you live in L.A.? Did you vote Trump? No worries. Did you vote Trump or... I like Trump, but recently he just started getting really um, wacko. What don't you, what do you mean? Like what? It's just saying stupid stuff recently. I I want the wall though, I mean it's getting pretty crazy here. You want the wall? Yeah. Why do you want the wall? It's getting too crazy, everybody's just walking over, you know? I have family who were, who got like, you know, they came here with a green card, it took them one year just to get a green card. Cost about more than like 800, 900 more than that just to come to the country what is what is people just walking across the border do you take Adderall no I don't um what is your ethnicity I'm Armenian oh okay the nose doesn't give it away no no I I knew you were something though yeah I I, I mean I don't know the wall the wall I don't think it's gonna really help I think people are still gonna come in illegally because most people come in through airplane uh that are illegal they come with like a work visa, then they just never leave. Or they come in with motherfucking ass, like the social security number that 20 other motherfucking uh, Michaels share. So you got like 20 Michaels coming in at the same time? Happened to me twice already. What do you mean? I tried to open a bank account and somebody was using my social security number. How the hell did they get your social card? I have no idea. Probably some job I work God damn, dude. I remember, I mean, I don't know. When I worked, at, this was in Florida too, so it was like less of a problem. Uh, when I worked at this place called Bravo, uh, there were legit, all right, this is going to sound really fucking bad, but it, it was, it was actually real. Every single person who worked there, except for me and a few others were Mexican and they all sh- legitimately shared that they had the same fucking name. So, like, obviously, like, we called them different things. Like, one was, like, Jose. The other one was, like, Pete Pierre or some shit. Like, they had different names. But if you look at their licenses, they all had, like, the same information. Like, they were all sharing the same fucking social card. Social security cards or something. And, you know, my job just didn't give a fuck because they I, they were making... All right, so I was making, like, $12 an hour. They were making, like, $9 an hour. And they were taxes. and they and they were working way harder. No, they they got paid taxes. This was not under the table shit. They just got paid way less for way more work, and they were okay with that. And and that's why my job didn't give a fuck. That sounds really fucking bad, but it's an actual fact of the place that I worked. So, I used to the last two two weeks. You've done so much gay shit. Nobody is ever gonna call you homophobic in your life. Well, that's what I'm saying. Uh, like I'm not a homophobe. I just don't want a bunch of guys hitting on me. And then the dishwashers were all Haitian, and they were also, you know, had the same information as well. Like, they, they came from, a, like, in Florida, there's, so here in California, there's, like, a lot of illegal Mexicans. In Florida, there's a lot of illegal Haitians, because, you know, Haiti is, like, you know, a, a motherfucking, maybe, like, a two-hour uh, door ride, you know, floating door ride uh, from Florida, so. No, like, oh, I don't say that, but. Uh, so yeah, the dishwashers were Haitian, the cooks were, were Spanish, and then they had me working at the bar as the white guy. I, like that sounds racist, but it's actually legit. Everett, seven dollars uh, from Spencer. Ever considered doing some streams in South Orange County? I know a lot of great spots. Uh, I mean, I, I go to Irvine a lot. Uh, I just don't see, there's just, there's just nothing to do in Orange County. It's all just like for old people and shit. Like, I don't know, Irvine, I went there, kind of boring, so, I don't know. I'm leaving, I, I really do want to get out of L.A. for content, because we've been in L, we've been streaming in L.A. for the past, like, two weeks. It's time to 
I want to get the fuck out and do content somewhere else. Uh, I'm just waiting until I get the equipment from Teradek. I would, we would literally be in Europe right now if Teradek uh, gave me their equipment. But some, you know, the, the new date is Monday. Monday they're giving me the equipment, and then right to Europe. So, and then you know, more traveling after that as well. So, actually, Europe, then E3, and then more traveling after that. So, uh, just waiting for that to be honest. All right, we're heading on the freeway right now. We're gonna be there very, very shortly. Still nervous. 18 minutes, y'all. I'm still, I'm, I'm skid road, dog. This is not a joke. I really hope we don't die. And you know what? If we do die, it won't even matter because Livestream Fails fucking banned me from their subreddit. So if I do die, they're missing out on good fucking content, dude. Motherfucking, that's the easy 2,000 upvotes right there. I used to sign and get stabbed, you know, or some shit, so. No, it's fine, though. I don't know. It's all good, though. I don't know. I still don't understand. I looked at their... I, I looked at their... Uh, their, their, their evidence of like vote manipulation and it's just the most petty shit ever like if they, there's another reason why they banned my content it's not vote manipulation there's a completely different reason 100% uh, and the fact that they say it's temporary means they're I think they're te honestly I think they see that there's just too much of me in the subreddit so they're gonna ban my content to see how it end like to see like how the subreddit like is without my content because I feel it because I mean I mean like two days ago for example like the entire front page was just like like six of the ten clips are like me so I think there was just too much of me even though people upvote it I still I think they want to try this and see what it looks like without motherfucking all all me the mods on there talking shit on your fans so they're power tripping I don't know I I've talked to Gengar before. I thought we were homies, but I guess not. <laughs> Gengar, man. I thought you liked me, bro. You wanted to play poker with me. Even though I don't even know how to play poker, so I didn't fucking do it. But you wanted to play poker with me, and you banned me from your subreddit? No, we're definitely never going to play poker together, Gengar. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> it's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll keep our content in our own subreddit, or we'll go over to our videos or some shit and, get, and convert the normies. It's okay, man. Nah, that's not a big deal. Monday's Memorial Day. Yeah, but they said they could go in the office and get me some stuff, I, th I think, or Tuesday, or I, d I don't know. They said Monday would be ready, so that's... Maybe they forgot it was Memorial Day. Either either way, it'd be Tuesday then, I don't know. Take Mexican Andy to Skid Row? Well, it's already too late. Actually, Mexican Andy lives right by Skid Row, I'm pretty sure. Yo, Andy, if you're watching this, if you want to come to Skid Row, you're fucking welcome. The more... The more the, the more the better, because the more the people we bring, the less likely we are to die. I mean, if we just go, me and him, we're, we're fucked. Like, we're going to get jumped by, like, six homeless guys that are, on, that are methed out and see free money in my fucking hands, so. What happened to Grinder? Uh, we decided it was a dick move to lead on gay dudes. So we, so we, didn't, so we, didn't, we didn't go through with it. Mexican Andy would would like actually like if there's like he's you know bilingual if there's some Mexican some Mexican homeless guy that comes up to us you know he can Mexican Andy could like talk to him and be like yo don't fuck with us or some shit I mean I brought the pepper spray okay I might be having the pepper spray some motherfucker with like right now so I mean I really hope not I don't want to I don't like violence I don't want to hurt anybody I don't want anybody to hurt me but I do have the spray in case you're busy Mexican Andy says he's busy busy doing what motherfucking masturbating what are you Andy what are you busy doing what are you busy doing well, that's okay if you don't want to come that's fine we got we got Victor to come with us and hold the camera it's all good if you do ASMR you need to put headphones miles away to have the right effect the fuck you mean we'll see A lot of fucking traffic here, but as soon as we get off this traffic, we'll, uh... I mean, it's really not that far, though. You said 18 minutes away with traffic. That's... It's really right down the road from my apartment. Well, we're going, well, we're going to make this, right? Yeah. So, it's 23 minutes. Oh, okay. It's 23. That's fine. He lives right next to it. Yeah, he does live next to it. 
Mexi and Andy's probably yeah. He's busy tw- yeah, on Twitter, bro, with those motherfucking with the girls, homie. Hello. Hey. What's up? Where, where are you going? Uh, Skid Row. Why? Where are you going to Skid Row? Uh, I don't know. I don't have anything else to do. Okay, I don't want you to get a skid row. That's kind of not a good place. Uh, well, I mean, we're already like almost there. Okay, how about how about I give you? I'll, I'll just donate five hundred dollars to you, and then you and Chad can figure out what to do with it. And you just don't go to skid row, and you live today. Are you saying my life is only worth five hundred dollars? Oh God damn it! You're gonna weasel more money out of me. <laughs> I learned. I learned from the best cornbread. Um, what did cornbread weasel out of you? <laughs> uh, my couch every night. Okay, you can sleep on my couch also. <laughs> uh, I mean. Hey, this is five hundred a lot, man. I thought that was a lot. I was gonna say two fifty, then I said five hundred. Uh, you're gonna give me five hundred dollars just to not go. Yeah, I'll give you 500 bucks. You and Chad can figure out what to do with it. Like, pull over and whatever, and, like, you guys figure out what to do with it. Go to a strip club. I don't know. I don't think I can stream I, I, that. No. You can stream walking into the strip club and then just hand the camera to the guy that's with you and then come out with a big smile on your face. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that. Um, well, I mean, if you actually give me $500, I will reconsider. Okay, yeah, I'll give you 500 just like don't go to Skid Row. That sounds very dangerous. And you're streaming. Now I'm getting shot. Well, I mean, I don't think I'm gonna get shot. I don't think homeless people can afford guns. Oh, yeah, oh I don't want you to get and bit. We weren't gonna. We, I don't. I don't know if I'm actually gonna get out of the car. We're just gonna go over there and maybe if we see one person, maybe get out. Okay. Okay. I tell you what. Um, if you're in danger at all, you have to leave, and I'll take you five hundred bucks or whatever. If it's what? Do you want me to just send you five hundred dollars and you and Chad figure it out, or do you want to go to Skid Row? Uh, what do you? I don't know. What do you guys think in the chat there? What do you guys think? This is all going to stand. Take his money and go to Skid Row anyway. Uh, I don't know, man. Are they are they revolting? Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, Skid Row is, 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 is what uh, they want to do. Oh, Jesus. Okay, be safe. Don't get hurt, please. Well, I can't promise anything, but I got that pepper spray. Oh, that pepper spray. Okay, you should have brought nunchucks. <laughs> All right, well, I'll talk to you later, man. All right, bye, guys. We're fine. Now I'm getting scared. Nah, we're fine. They don't got guns on Skid Row. They just got knives. It's all good. What do you have? What is that, nail clippers? Yeah. Why the hell is there a knife on a nail clipper? I don't know. It was like a dollar. Is it illegal? Should I throw it away? That's not illegal, no. If you got it for a dollar, it's not illegal. The only thing that's illegal is if there was a spring in it. Because then it's an automatic knife and automatic weapons are banned in California. You're fine. I just turned down $500 uh, to go to a place to see crackhead, cracked out homeless people. I hope you guys are happy. Hi, Shelly. I'm a helpful Southern California oh, God. person, and I'm calling to give you a random act of helpfulness. Oh, my God. We heard your mom is struggling with some medical expenses. This is her second bout with Hodgkin's lymphoma, and there's a drug you need to take. Call your mom to ask her what she thinks. Uh, uh, you know, every time I call my mom, she never answers, so I'm not going to do that because I don't want to feel depressed again. This is not the time to feel depressed. I already feel like shit because of fucking diarrhea drained me, and I and I probably should have had more to eat than just that Reese's cup. But I definitely, if my mom doesn't like, no, she, it's just going to put me in a bad mood. I don't want to call her. I'm sorry. That's not a good idea. Yo, thank you for the sponsor, dude. Fucking Max, I appreciate it, dude. My dad always watches the streams, though. My dad always texts me. 
uh, you know, when he thinks something's a good or bad idea, so. My dad said I should get a bodyguard to protect me from the assholes in the world, but I told him a bodyguard would kind of ruin, uh, it, it would make the streams feel really artificial and different, like, I, I don't want to have a bodyguard with me, this just seems, this just, it seems too professional, it's less, like, I just want to, I just want to stream and be like a normal fucking I just want to be like a normal fucking person, like that blends in. I want, like I try to blend in with people, even with the camera setup. If I have like a bodyguard and shit, it's not really blending in. Same with the camera guy thing. Like the reason why I prefer to like hold my own camera in most scenarios is because I blend in. Like it just it looks more natural and organic. It's not like our, like our cameramen and bodyguards. It's super like it's fucking. It's like artificial. You know what I mean? I don't want to. Or I don't want it to be like artificial. just doesn't seem right, but, uh, yeah, I don't know, we'll see, even if I do die today, that's okay, I've done everything I've ever wanted to do in my life, and now everything else that ever happens in life is just extra, so, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I would not be sad, I'm content with, I'm content, that's totally fine, that's why I'm down the travel to, like, Syria and, like, weird countries, because if anything happens, I'm content, Everything that happens from here on out is just, it's just fucking extra. Think about it. I, I've uh, accomplished my goal. Uh, so when I was in middle school, I had this like goal that I told all my fucking teachers. Like I told them, I was like, hey, I'm gonna be fucking somebody someday. I'm gonna be something, you know, because my teachers, you know, said I'd be nothing, and everybody in middle school fucking hated me and like bullied me and shit. So I was like, I'm gonna be somebody someday, and I, uh, you know. I feel like this is pretty, this, this is that, this is that accomplishment, you know, people, people fucking know me, like, that's, like, you know, you're, you're watching me right now, like, that's an accomplishment, so I've already accomplished that goal, uh, which makes me really happy and content, I've accomplished, you know, like, I'm not, like, like, uh, I'm not rich, but I, I definitely, you know, make good money from streaming, so that, I've accomplished that goal, which is cool. And I've also uh, traveled a lot to all the places I've ever wanted to go. So, I mean, that's also cool as well. So, I mean, I'm pretty content. I've already... That's the thing, dude. I've already accomplished all my goals. I've accomplished all my life goals by 22 years old. So, there's nothing else really for me to do. Except just extra shit. You know what I mean? Like, the, the getting to be somebody... That was... I was so, what I thought... I meant by I'm going to be somebody someday is I was going to be like a really successful investment banker that has a bunch of clients and mutual funds and, you know, I have like millionaire clients and all this shit. That's what I thought. And I thought I was going to achieve that by like in my forties. Uh, and in, in the time of growing up, I would create new goals. You know what I mean? But I, I've already accomplished that goal by 20. I've already, I've accomplished, when you've accomplished all your goals at such a young age, it makes it really hard to, uh, not just be content with life. You know what I mean? Hi, yo, crap, $5, hi, Ice, today, my father passed away, and I'm an orphan of 22 years, I'm feeling pretty shit, it feels so weird having the house be so empty, your stream is the only thing keeping a smile on my face, keep up the good work, man, yo, crap, dude, I fucking love you, dude, thank you very much, um, I'm, I'm sorry about that, dude, that sucks, man, I, that fucking sucks, dude, I, 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 I really, like, I'm sorry, but I, I hope you're feeling okay, man, I hope, uh, you can be in a better place, dude. Uh, nice generic ass back story cunt, by the way. Appreciate the unban. Oh, thanks, Leo. Two dollars, you appreciate it. Yo, Max, thank you, dude, for the sponsor, dude. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. You've got some low goals then, homie. What the fuck? I mean, I guess another goal is be like becoming a millionaire one day is like my next goal. I don't know if that's possible though. I don't know. There's no way I can become well, okay. So I'm about to tell you something. That, all right, so uh, I, I don't know if I should say this. I'm going to say it like this because I, I really shouldn't be saying this, but I'll, I'll say it like this, which makes it okay. If I took every, because I, I calculate this shit. If I took every single sponsor that has ever been offered to me uh, as a streamer, I would be a millionaire. Like I would have not a millionaire, like 20, 30 million dollars. If I took every single sponsor that I've ever received from any from every company, I would have over a million dollars like net worth. 
that just, I mean, for what, because, I mean, sponsors pay fuckloads of money. Uh, but I, I've turned down most of the sponsors because it's just bad for the brand. You know, it's, it's bad for my channel to, like, have a bunch of sponsors that, you know, would be very clearly sellout status. So, uh, so that's, that's, that's something. Sup? Sup, beautiful? You look good today. Where you got, where are you heading to? You're going home? What do you think about this setup? I see you staring. What's your name? Cool, you want to go to Skid Row with us? You were, why? Oh, meetings at Skid Row with, with homeless people? Okay. Yeah, so, no, it's too late, just fuck them. Uh, but yeah, so it's like, I, I don't know. So I guess I could have accomplished that goal by this point in time, but uh, I don't know. Like, it is possible, but I don't know. Being That's just a very long-term goal, but it, it, it is another one. If I could ever reach over a million dollars in my bank account one day or a million dollars worth of assets, that, that'd be sick. That, that'd be a really cool goal. And also, how, does the 720 at 6,000 bitrate look better than the 1080 at 6,000 bitrate, yes or no? Follow her for sex? Oh, no, we got to go to Skid Row. We're not following nobody. That's fucking it's creepy. Yo, Victor, come outside. We're about to pull into your place. If Joshua, G, if Joshua G can become a millionaire, you can too. Financial freedom comes with investing in VC. Joshua D uh, did like the skin stuff though, and he kind of didn't he like kind of fuck up his reputation a little bit. Like that's what I'm saying. Like if I took every single sponsor I've ever been offered, my reputation would probably be fucked. But I. would have a lot of money, and I don't know, I feel like reputation is, is more, reputation's like more important, I feel, because uh, I care about creating a community more so than becoming uh, super rich, I mean, obviously I want to be super rich, that's a great goal to have in mind, but uh, I don't want my, I don't want to be like a shitty person because, because of it, you know what I mean, I'm not saying Josh is a shitty person, I've met him, he's a great guy, but I don't want people to think I'm a shitty person, is what I'm saying. Alright, there's Victor right there. This is the guy who wore a KFC shirt? Yeah, I know, I'm an NRG. I am an NRG. Uh, but, not... Well, alright, so, I'm I'm gonna... I am an NRG. It's, it's... They, they got free lawyers and shit, dude. Yo, bro, what's up, man? Alright, let's fucking head over there, let's do it. Yo, I, I just fucked my girlfriend for over an hour and I couldn't come. I feel like you. Bro, it's hard to come sometimes. It's no, it's no fucking joke, bro. Do you have a condom on or no? If you had no condom, then you're a fucking animal. If you had a condom, I get it, bro. I feel you. I fucking have that shit, same shit too. I actually have a lot of people who smile on their people's faces and I'm glad you keep up the streams even when people try to mess with you, homie. Don't you want to live for your, for the fans? God, you can be depressing as fuck sometimes. Feels bad, man. Uh... Yeah, yeah, I do like to live for the fans. I'm not trying to be depressing. I do. That's why I'm still alive, because I live for the fans. You know what I mean? I was in a really bad place before I started streaming, dude. So, I really... You guys helped me... You guys really helped me get the fuck out of that little hole that I was in. So, I was in a really bad spot. Like, alright. So, when I got banned from Twitch, I was, like, super depressed for, like, two days before I got over it. Uh, because I thought I was never going to be able to talk to the people. All right. So this is how I put it. I wasn't really worried about the channel and stuff because, you know, YouTube is a, is a big site as well. And, you know, there's no reason why I just can't stream on YouTube and it's worked out well. So I'm not, I wasn't worried about that. I was worried about when I started streaming, I had no friends. So over the years of going to different events and just live streaming, I've become friends with other live streamers and people that are in like the streaming community and in this, in this streaming scene. So when I got banned, I thought all those people were going to completely ditch me and drop me and just not fucking talk to me ever again, you know what I mean? Like, because uh, they were all Twitch streamers or they were all just, you know, in the scene, you know, esports people, you know, and I thought they were going to be like, oh, well, he's not in the scene anymore. Well, fuck this guy. And, you know, I thought they were all going to ditch me, dude, and, have no, and I was going to have no friends again. But 
It was actually the opposite. I actually had a lot of people come to me, dude. Like, a lot of people, like, you know, in my DMs and stuff, trying to talk to me and stuff, and saying, you know, yeah, I, I don't know, like, I, I just thought they were gonna, I, like, I'm friends with a lot of, like, I don't know, like, people, and they, they didn't ditch me, they still want to hang out and stuff, and they still, and I feel, I feel, I felt good, uh, I mean, YouTube is still in the scene, so it's not like, I just thought, I, I, I don't know, I just thought, like, just not being on Twitch, they were not gonna want to be my friend, but there's really no difference from Twitch to YouTube, like, they still want to be my friends. Uh, actually, I want to really go to E3 because I have some good friends I'm going to hang out with. I'm going to hang out with some uh, some Twitch staff. They wanted to hang out with me and have lunch and stuff. So we're going to go hang out and, you know, just, yeah, we can smoke some, we smoke some weed, you know, really casual, just talk and do stuff. So, uh, yeah, so that's why I was, like, really depressed for, like, two days. And then I kind of got over it when the Twitch staff still invited me to the Twitch party, even though I was banned. Like, I was banned, but they still invited me to the Twitch party. So I was like, all right. So they still like me. I'm not like people still like me. I'm not a fucking outcast. So I so I got over it. You know what I mean? I just thought it was gonna be like some kind of outcast or some shit. I don't know though. It's kind of depressing to think about though. Just saw lots of videos of homeless cars have stopped in Skid Row. Be safe and drive away. This guy says I'm a piece of shit in the chat. Tell me, why am I a piece of shit? I'm, I'm serious, I'm sitting here opening myself to you and you're gonna call me a piece of shit? That makes you a fucking piece of shit. But then again, you're just a troll, so I'm not even gonna, trust me. You can't troll the troll, dude. So, I, I get it. They're gonna be safe, don't worry. Victor, have you ever been to Skid Row? Uh, I've like gone past it. You've never been inside of it? All right, well this will be a good experience for all of us then. You're a faggot kike bitch. Excuse, excuse me? You ran a red light? That's fine. Fuck it. Excuse me, asshole? First of all, I'm I'm not I'm fucking Christian for one, and then for two, you're a piece of garbage. Is this it? This looks pretty shitty. This looks like a pretty shitty part of town. Huh. All right, this is not it. Just a couple blocks away and we should be there, y'all. Just a bunch of abandoned buildings and homeless crackheads. I'm actually down to walk around outside if this is it. Like, this does not seem too dangerous. What the fuck? Why are you still hanging out with the Twitch staff? I'm pretty sure they fucked you over when there are still loads of worse IRL streamers who break more rules. F, man. People say... This is... This is why you, you shouldn't mix friendship with business, but I mean, I really, did, I had no choice. I didn't, I mean, I, I didn't have, they were just, they, listen, all cause I got banned doesn't mean they're still not cool people. Like the ones that I hung out with, you know what I mean? Like the ones I'm hanging out with are not the ones who, they're not the ones who banned me. They're just, they just work for Twitch. Like I'm not going to stop talking to my friends because of a decision that their company made, you know what I mean? That's not, that, that's, that's not a big deal, man. It's fine. Not, it, it's just, it's, don't worry about it, dude. Uh, one dollar, do you see Greg's girlfriend? The fuck? What do you mean? I was, yeah, she's Asian. She's cute, man. Greg did a good job. I was in a bad spot too in your streams. Got me through, homie. Thanks a lot. Thanks, man. I'm glad they did, man. I'm, I'm, I really, I'm glad, dude. All right, we're here, everybody. This is—is is this it? This is it, huh? This is the starting of it, huh? Yeah, this looks pretty empty out here. Ain't ain't no cars or people in sight. Ain't nobody want to be in this shit. I don't know how uh, comfortable you feel about parking your car. Oh, okay. You're gonna stay in the car. All right. Yeah. No worries. Watch out! Skid Row's over there! Watch out! Skid Row's over there! It's dangerous! You ladies, be careful! Two 
not bad looking ladies walking on the streets of Skid Row. That's a bad decision. Okay. That, that's, that's, and then they're going to complain in court when motherfucking ass, you know, bad shit happens. Shouldn't have been walking on Skid, at Skid Row. I was wondering what's in those tents. You want, it's probably somebody sleeping in the tent, dude. Yeah, there's definitely somebody sleeping in that. You want to go see? Sure. I mean, I don't want to... I'd be... That's kind of a dick move to wake people up, but... We can definitely make a stop and see if there's uh, anything in the tent. Probably just feces. Knock on the door. (laughs) All right, Victor, you're knocking on the tent. I thought it was a cameraman. You're... you're, Well, you're you're knocking on the tent right now. You got to show Reddit that you're not afraid of shit, okay? Because they were roasting you last time. The main thing was just like us incriminating ourselves, you know. True that. All right, well, let, let's knock on the tent here. Yeah, knock on the tent. Is there anybody in the tent? Yeah. Hi. Hello. Can we interview you? For our YouTube. Oh, okay, thank you. Were, sorry, were you sleeping? Yeah. Sorry. I felt it move. Like now, now I feel like a dick. Yeah. So, so is this it? How How is he? That is so dangerous. Somebody could just come up with a knife and just like stomp his, or like some shit, stomp his fucking tent when he's sleeping in there. That's dangerous as fuck, dude. Now I feel like an asshole. <laughs> All right, let's park uh, somewhere. I don't know. It, like, this doesn't seem very dangerous, to be honest. This guy's a fucking shop. This guy's a fucking shop. They, they have stores that are open. I thought there's no, they have a fucking, they have the fucking Metro bikes here. This is not dangerous. Where's the danger at? They, they, they sell them flowers and shit, dude. Do you know where the danger is? Um, the, the, the get, anybody in the chat, help us out. Where the ghetto at? Where the ghetto spot at? They even got an ambulance over here. If it was truly ghetto, the ambulances wouldn't even come in this shit because, you know, it's a lost cause. <laughs> I mean, this guy's got walking around with a cart, so... I mean, uh, and it smells like shit over here, so, I mean, we're getting closer. The, the worse it starts to smell, the closer we get. Are you mad that I want to see a hobo attack you? Love you, BB? I uh, no, I think everybody does. Bring some cash to give out people that are on the cam? That's a good idea. We need to find ATM. I don't think there's any, I don't think there's going to be any ATM in sight here. That might just be a bad investment for the company. Hi. Okay. All right, if anybody approaches us and they look dangerous, you got to fucking, you, you, you got to gas it. You got to drive. I mean, this guy fucking stole something. I mean, he running. Let's see. Let's go, uh, okay. Yeah, this is, it's, that's where, okay, this is dangerous. See, if we get stuck behind these cars and somebody comes up to this car, I'm going to roll this window up and I'm going to pray to God you just break the fucking rules of the road. Yeah, I mean, there's still sunlight, but this is some, this is the most, this is some, this is the sketchiest fuck, dude. I mean, uh, like, for real, homie, I'm, I got $7,000 in my hand. And you have a car. No, I have cash. You have, wait, you have $1,500 in cash? Why the fuck? Long story. Huh? Long story. Long story? Yeah. No, you're a fucking drug dealer. <laughs> 1500 in cash, and you say you do pharmacy? What the fuck? Okay. Well, we're definitely... Fu- we got 1500 in cash. <laughs> he lucked. <laughs> we're getting fucking murdered. All right. Uh, you guys want to go for a walk on the sidewalk? Sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, let's just circle it around. And- yeah, let's just, let's just scope the place out first. I mean... Yeah, let's, oh my, oh jeez, yeah, let's, I want to get some interviews going, oh that's, wow, damn, this place is fucking horrible, I mean they got a radio, that's a big ass, damn, that's a big tent, 
This place is horrible, dude. Dude, how how the fuck can the city of Los Angeles just let this happen, dude? This is awful. City of Los Angeles, everyone. The city that doesn't give a fuck about their homeless. It's like, oh, you want to be homeless? That's fine. Just pitch your tent on the side of the road and and we don't give a fuck about you. Come on, lot. Come on, LA. This is like right by downtown LA where the where the fucking big ass skyscrapers are as well that are like, you know, the famous skyline of LA. Like this is horrible, dude. This is terrible. See if we can uh get somebody on the sidewalk to talk to us. Here is my email. If you ever want to come to South OC, till then, keep it real. All right, dude, I got you. Are you trying to go to Skid Row to find to Andy Slut of a mother on the corner? Wow. That's fucked up, dude. Excuse me. Excuse me. We're doing a documentary. Can we talk to you? What? We're doing a documentary. Oh, yeah? Can we interview you? Uh, is there any money? I, I mean, I, I don't have any money. Uh, I, I don't blame. Go, All right, yeah, no worries, dude. All right, we gotta go. Let's go. Let's go get some money. What you got quarters? Hold on. We gotta we gotta roll the quarters. Roll. How much is this? Ten dollars. Oh, ten dollars. This is ten dollars and quarters. Uh huh. Ten dollars and quarters. Uh, 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 how long is it? Uh, like like five minutes. All right. All right. Can you tell us uh, a little bit about Skid Row? Skid Row. Yeah. Oh. I keep it small. <laughs> what do you mean? I've been here a year. I've been here. Uh, of Skid Row? Yeah. And how is it? Why Skid Row? Skid Row? Yeah, why? Uh, it's the last house. Uh, M Street. Elm Street for, for it. Mm-hmm. You speak good English? A oh, okay. little bit? Yeah. Oh, okay. We gotta find somebody who speaks good English. Here, take these quarters. So, so what's up? Uh, we just wanted to ask some questions. Uh, like what? Like, uh, like, you know, like, like, where do you stay at in Skid Row? By the county jail? Yeah, on this side of the. Oh, they have a, they have a jail in Skid Row. Oh, on the other side of the bridge. Oh, do the police come through here a lot? Oh, random, random. Oh, well, okay. I didn't think oh, I didn't think the police did. Yeah, okay. All right, we'll see you, man. Hey, thanks a lot. Yeah, no worries, no worries. All right, we should. I, if we if we see an ATM, let's we'll stop so I can hit get some money out. Uh, I want to find somebody who speaks like uh, English. <laughs> Because he seemed to not speak very good English. Yeah, if I'm if we don't understand, I don't understand Spanish. I don't know shit. Let's see if we can find an ATM. Like, oh, a, there's no, oh, is there, there's plenty of open stores. Do you look there? There's abandoned buildings and shit. I don't see any abandoned buildings. Do you see any? You see how nice it changes? Seriously, this is not bad. This is nice. This is nice, but back there it was all like, you know. Where's the? Uh, let me, let's hit an ATM first. Uh, and then let's uh, let's try to find an, an abandoned building. I mean, these people are like, do they uh, even realize that they're two steps, like they're down the road from the most dangerous place in America? Oh, there's a bank right there. Oh, hey, let's hit that. Let, let's hit the fucking bank. There's a cop there. There is a cop there. He's going right to Skid Row. He's, he's ready. There's two cops. They're going together to Skid Row. See, it'd be cool to have a nice ride along the LAPD. It'd be so sick content. But they won't let me fucking record. Do you want to uh, park your car in the nice area and then walk to Skid Row? Yeah, whatever you want. But, um, are you sure? Yeah, I can't go straight though because the cops are gonna. What do you mean? Why would they pull us over? Yeah, oh. I just can't make the right. No worries. We'll see y'all in Skid Row. And now I feel more safe going there uh, on foot. Skid Row, Vancouver is more dangerous. Skid Skid Row, Vancouver. Anything in Canada is weak. Canada's, Canada's weak as fuck. I'm joking. All right. Oh, yeah, let's park and uh, let's get walking. I would not carry the $1,500 in cash with you, though. Oh, it's going to stay like... Should we do this? Public park? Park? We'll go here to take photos because it looks like a public park. All right. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Just find anywhere. Park. 
you want to uh, get out, and then I'll just follow you with the car. Uh, okay. Is that better? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So if we need to make a quick getaway, we just jump in the car. I'm going to try to follow you, but just text me if, you, if we get lost. Good? All right. Good? Yeah, yeah. yeah you gotta get that. Just be very careful with that. Yeah. Yeah, two dollars uh, from PayPal. God, look for Cornbread's tent. Victor, what do you think about Cornbread and the whole Cornbread thing? I never met him, so I can't really say it's a personal experience. But I don't know. Just don't say anything while walking through. Just turn up on your speaker and let the donations do all the work. That's how we die. That's how we get fucking murdered. Uh, all right, let's walk through here and let's hit, let's find the ATM and then let's uh, let's go in. This is, a, this is cool as fuck, what the hell? This is some cool shit. Hey, it was a zombie. Yeah, I thought it was gonna eat me. No, it's a zombie, dude. Alright, uh. Let's see. Nah. Dude, that's not, that guy was cracked yeah. the fuck out. Holy shit. Oh my god, dude. He was walking right towards me. I thought he was going to eat me. I was like, okay. All right. Um, let's go. Let's see. Where the fuck's an ATM? This is probably like the one shopping plaza that's like the mix of like the crackheads with the normal people. All right. Where the fuck is there an ATM at? Let's just walk to the bank. Fuck it. No, I'm not making fun of him either. It's just... I mean, he was cracked out. Like, if you're cracked out and in public, you kind of... You you, 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 that, that's kind of your fault. Like, that's, that's not... Like, people take their fucking kids here. You know what I mean? And, you know, if I brought my kid here and I saw some dude cracked out walking around, I'd be like, come on, man. Like, if you're going to do that shit, like, don't bring... Don't do it in public. Like... Like stay, stay, stay somewhere like in the in, in in the alleyway or some shit. Like it's fucked up. All right. Oh, he's getting pulled over, baby. Breaking that law. Breaking that law, homie. Can't do that. He was speeding. Can't do that shit. All right. Where at? Where, where the fuck even are we, dude? Just southeast of downtown LA. Southeast? Like LA, southeast. Is this uh, Little Tokyo or some shit? Yeah, we're really close to Little Tokyo. Well, I guess that's it. Oh, this is actually Little Tokyo? Yeah, there's a lot of Asians here. Like a lot of cute Asians. Like Japanese women. Because I know there's a difference between, I don't know, like some, some, like Koreatown, like they're just, I don't know, they're less attractive. <sighs> I'm not saying anything, but just attra bad, just less attractive. This isn't that bad. Philly is way worse. I bet Philly is. Um, this is pretty bad. We're gonna walk through it. Let me just get my wallet, so I can take my money into the most dangerous place in LA. Um, where the fuck is my wallet? No, I got it. I got it. No worries. I just gotta be careful not to get pit-pocketed. Yeah. I didn't even bring my wallet. I just put my card in my socks. <laughs> they're, gonna, they're gonna rob your fucking... Sh you know they steal your shoes. Yeah, they'll take my shoes, I'll sell my socks. No, they're gonna take your socks, too. Oh, okay. Trust me, dude. I lived in Brazil for two years. Like, that's... That's what you do. Alright, let's see. How much are we pulling out? What do you guys think? Got it. What do you guys think? Like... 30, like maybe like 40, like $40, like $10 each, each person, or some. Do it with, for five? Yeah, all right, I mean, five seems like a little cheap though. Motherfucker's saying 1K? 1K for one, oh yeah, so one guy can just sucker punch me and take all of it? Yeah, okay. We're gonna do 40. We're gonna do 40. Don't carry a lot at a time, because when you do, it's like, 
if I get fucking robbed, that all, all that goes to that fucking asshole. You know what I mean? You don't want. We don't want that. All right, we just need to get change for fives or tens. Uh, yeah, let's, let's go inside there. That's a good one. I'll, I'll even get some coffee as well because I'm fucking thirsty or some shit. And then right down there to Skid Row again. Why the fuck they put a little Tokyo next to the homeless place? That's so fucked. I would not want to live here. Like, I mean, this is a nice, these are nice apartments, but I would not want to live down the street from Skid fucking Row. Like, would you guys, like, would you live in that apartment down the street from Skid Row? Like, it's a nice place, but... It's just such a bad location. I'm a fucking idiot. Thank you for telling me. Otherwise, we would have just left it, bro. Somebody better not. Took my shit, dog. I'm gonna fucking freak out. I'm gonna fucking ask for your money for somebody. I don't think so. Fuck that shit. What's up? Where you at? Cannot be happening. That cannot be happening. Hi. Do you have change? Like tens? No. Okay. Are you Japanese? Korean. Chinese. Chinese? I I knew it. Not really. I fucking I tried. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see if I can guess their fucking nationalities and shit. All right. Uh. All right. Yeah. Chinese, Chinese, dude. That's so cute. That's so cute. Even though it's communist, it's cute as fuck. I'm joking. Is, Ch is China still a communist country? I think so. Yeah, right. I, I don't know. I, I know I wanted to go to China, and somebody was like, "No, do not go to China. You're gonna get fucked up." So I was like, "Uh," I was like, "Okay." I was like, I don't know. Yeah, they're chill. They're chill. I know. They're, they're fine. Hello. Do you know is China is China still a communist country? Is it? I don't know. I'm, I'm doing a project for 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 my school. Yeah. Do you know if China is still a communist country? Well, they act they act in communist ways, I guess, but not entirely. So. So they're not a communist country. I don't know. I, I mean, they're a democrat. Maybe. Or, Democracy. They're their own thing. Do they have rights? Them and like North Korea. Like, North Korea is a dictatorship. Yeah. yeah is Russia still a communist country? I think so. Why do you think so? What are the facts? Uh, the Vladimir is like going crazy and stuff. But like, he, I, I don't think it's like a really com communist, but like he wants it to be like so right? He wants to be like the Soviet Union again. Yeah, he does want the union. That's why he hit up Donald Trump. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. America's turning communist. Why do you say that? Did you vote for Trump? No, I didn't. I didn't vote this year. No, me neither. Fucking, I don't think anybody voted. We are so, we are so fucking great Americans. Yeah, we're fucking great. Fucking Americans. Yeah, we're fucking great 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 Americans. Yeah, we're fucking how old are you guys? I'm 22. Okay, so we're we're the same age, but I'm stuck. I'm stuck from reality, I guess. The snail. I've never heard of it. Have you heard of the Wi-Fi? The Wi-Fi. Like when when you're a fucking germaphobe. Here, do do like a high five. Do like the high five. Like put your put your hand up. High five or the Wi-Fi. All right. What's up, dude? What's up, bro? Fucking legend. 
this man right here says, I just saw it beside him. I'm like, no, 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 no. Pull up your stream. Oh, Boom, What's baby. Up, dude? Boom, baby. I saw you. Woo! I would shit my pants. The legend, dude. What, what you? If, you don't, if you don't want us here, it's good, dude. It's good. I'm not Mexican Andy, I'm not gonna. No Mexican Andy, dude, no falling around. So what are you guys I doing? Smack me, but, hey. What are you guys doing here? We just got back from a Dodger game, we went out again. Oh, okay. Went to the Jap store, dude. Dude, the Dodgers dude, suck, though. Dude, I don't know, dude. They just blew them out of the water. Sick, I'm going to Skid Row. Right, Have fun well, with that yeah, one, dude. This, this, sorry, this is our new studio. No, no, it's fine. You're, you're the, we, we paid you, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so pretend I to get, you, so you pretend to get coffee, you're like the extra, and I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Alright, well, we got, we're gonna get stuff here. Nice yeah, to yeah. see you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. nice to meet What's you. What's wrong with Mexican Andy? See you, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's the answer. Alright, All right, peace, peace, dude. Alright, take it. Okay. <sighs> nice guys, nice guys. Love them. Ran, out of nowhere, ran, did not even stream slide. Nice, nice fellas. Excuse me, we're doing a, like, we're talking to people about stuff about while I'm getting coffee. Do you know, is China still a communist country? This is a coffee talk. Yes. In terms, so in terms of coffee. No, no, no. I'm just getting China coffee. China shares, uh, when one person gets a coffee, they share a teaspoon of it with everybody around them. Is that a good analogy? What do you mean? I'm trying to put it in terms of coffee. China? Mm-hmm. What do you mean? One person buys a coffee. Give every single person a little teaspoon of that coffee in the coffee shop. That's not communism. That's republicus. Okay. Yeah, fair. What's your ethnicity? Let me guess. Let me guess. Let me guess. Japanese. It's not the first time I've gotten that. Really? Yeah. I was fucking around. There's no way somebody actually thinks you're Japanese. Oh, it's really, really true. I usually drunk people, but it's really happened before. So what are you? I work at a Japanese bar, that's why. Oh, you work at a Jap- <laughs> How are you- Wait, how- Do you speak Japanese? No. How do you work at a Japanese bar? I needed a job, but they needed a worker, and I got hired. I thought they only hired the Japanese people. No. Do you have change? Not so exclusive. Uh, sure. I have $40. I need- Do you have four tons? We're not doing a school project. We're just asking people what they think about China before we go to Skid Row and die. We're going to Skid Row for no reason at all. We're just gonna walk through it. Probably get jumped. That's okay. I'm a man. I'm. A, it's okay if I get jumped. Now this is counterfeit. Yeah. You gave me thirty. No, you gave me forty. Okay, I thought you were trying to scam me for a second. You would probably notice. I well, Some some people don't count the money when they get it. That's Let's go. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'd be so fucked up. It would be a. Where do you think this footage is going? Nowhere. If I stole that money, be in, in my well, yeah, in my closet. Just no, no one would see it. What's your name? Porsche. Porsche, like the car. Yeah. Porsche. Is it like? Do people call you Porsche? Not often. It's never stuck. People have tried. When people call you Porsche, you get offended by that. No, I don't care. It's just never really helped. Hmm, it's interesting. Yeah, it doesn't work with spelling though, so that's probably why. You know what I'm thinking? This is the slowest service I've ever had at Starbucks. <laughs> I've been in this line for five minutes. That's true. But um, they may be holding for the shot. Why would they do that for? Why would they do that? Maybe, I guess. So what are you up to? What are you doing? I'm getting coffee and then going to work. Good night. What about you? Going to Skid Row and then going home and watching the footage and me going to Skid Row. Independent something rather? No, I'm live streaming. Oh, okay. So, it's live. People want to see me die live. They suggested I go to Skid Row, so we're going. I personally don't want to go, but we have to. That's yeah, unfortunate. You have to obey the internet. I have to obey the people that are watching. That's true. Because I told them I would. Okay. Sucks. Okay. Hi. Hi. Can I get a uh, tea, please? What kind of tea? Uh, just sweet tea. Um, uh, black passion. Uh, passion. 
Yeah. What size? Uh, large. Sweet it? Of course. Yes. Your name? Uh, Paul. Yo, $5 in brow. So what are you filming for? Doing a live stream. She knows. She already knows. All right, thanks. I know, all right, thank you. Let's wait for this. I have to make a decision, though. Geisha or Porsche? They both roll off the top of your tongue. And they're both beautiful. I forgot to put on deodorant though, I probably don't smell very good. Sometimes I walk ten miles today. That's, I <laughs> it, it, it is. I got I some strong up. legs. You drive. I wish I could drive. The traffic here is insane. I like to uh, walk everywhere and just keep myself healthy. You know, it works out. Are you in school by chance? No, I graduated last year. No, I dropped out of school to do this, and I don't know if that's a good decision or not. I might be in Skid Row by next year. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, but for different reasons. How old are you? Twenty-two. Okay, so you get you're already done with school then. Yeah, last year. Like your associates? No, it's fine. Twenty-two. How'd you get your bachelor so fast? I mean, I don't know. I, 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 I just guess I was young in my class, but like by a year, maybe not. I don't know. If I was still going for my bachelor, I wouldn't have it till 23 or 24. You must be a smart person. What'd you major in? Theater. Theater. We're smarter than you think. So let's see. Do you do improv? A little. Not as much as I wish I did. So I'm more of a sketch comedy or. Um, Otherwise, do you have any sketch comedies that you can just like play out for me right now? Play out? Yeah. Just, mm -hmm. just out of nowhere. Alone. It's a community sport. Make it. You got me. <laughs> I'm in, I do improv. You do sketch comedy. Do improv. Mm -hmm. That's great. Well, that makes perfect sense. You're live streaming everything. Yeah. I. Well, that's that's why I don't do improv. Is I like to write everything ahead of time. I'm very meticulous. You gotta learn to be spontaneous instead. If only you could learn that. It's not too hard to learn. Okay. So how do I do it? You just gotta be around the right people. And you still and you start to understand after a while how to be spontaneous. Okay. Like right now, you should ditch your work and come to Skid Row with us. <laughs> into an abandoned building with me and this guy. You've never met us before, but you should trust us. See there's a borderline between spontaneity and stupidity. 
<laughs> Why do you think it's stupid to go into an abandoned building that guys just met? Back a couple times on there, <laughs> and then I think you'll figure it out. Oh, I already will. I'm a narcissist. Oh, good. All right, well, we're gonna go to Skid Row. Okay. It's been nice talking to you. Me too. Porsche. Oh. Porsche. Porsche. Whatever you prefer. I made the decision that, uh, she was, she was not, she was not the one. She was not the one. I made that decision. Okay. Yeah. I don't know where our friend with the car went, but uh, I should have brought a jacket. It's cold. She was not the one, y'all. I made the decision. I, I, should I, I should, do you think I should get her a number? What about Geisha? What about, what about Geisha? What about Haley? Look at that, dude. Every day, every three days, a new girl. Every three days, dude. It's like, if they don't put out in three days, on to the next one, right? Yo, fucking, what do you think about her, Victor? Cute? Cute, yeah. She's a cute one. That lady is flirting so hard, get her number. <laughs> get Instagram for us, please, or Twitter. But that would ruin all my chances. Get her number, you, all right, we gotta get her number, dude. We gotta get her number then. And then we, and then we have Geisha and her battle it out in a boxing match. Seriously. Geisha does Taekwondo. Hey, sorry. Yeah, I left my fucking... I left your number here. That's a good one. I left your number here. Thought I, thought I lost it. Uh, can you help me find it? That's actually smooth. That would that'll work. 100%. I forgot my... Uh, and then hesitation. She's like, whoa, did you forget? For, forgot my... Uh, your number. We gotta go down the road. We gotta, we gotta stalk her now. No, she's gone. We missed it. We missed it, dude. She's gone. Opportunity over. That's okay. Let's go talk. Let's go. Let's go to where the crackheads are. I don't want to say that too loud. I really don't want to die. Damn it! Damn it, dude! Damn it! <laughs> God. There's a fucking. There's a, somebody left their fucking motherfucking. What's it? They're Swifter. Somebody left their Swifter out here. Oh, that's a good idea. Somebody fucks with me. I got a Swifter, homie. Yo, fucking five dollars. Uh, too late, man. Another guy's fucking her already. I know. Ice, you are building a harem of women, but cucking yourself with all of them. Who is filming? It's Victor. Uh, yeah, I'm. Uh, that's okay. Even if I cook myself, just the fact that I can get them is what makes me more confident. So, no, I didn't, it's not stolen. I didn't steal it. No, it's somebody left it outside. They clearly don't want it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it, and cause I need it, and I need it now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean the windows. Clean the windows. Hi. Would you like to purchase this very nice Swifter? Only five dollars can clean your entire house in one Swift. Move of the hand. Is that cool? Hell yeah, it does. You know what I call the, the Swifter? The Quinichiwa. Because it says hi to you every time you wake up in the morning. Because it wants you to use it. Five dollars.
Not everything is racist in this world, you know. That plane's going down. What the fuck? 20% battery. Though. All right, I got. We got plenty of batteries uh, in my pocket. Oh, I can barely even take it. It smells like just shit and piss, dude. In this area of town, it smells like straight up shit. Yo, know, somebody donated some money, but it won't fucking load. But it, when it does, I'll tell you who it was. But thank you, dude. I appreciate it. It's the, I know it. How's that racist? I just said it's, it's the Quinichua, the high. It's not racist. Not everything in this world's racist. All right, Victor, we have to uh, make this decision now. Do we actually risk our lives for this live stream? Okay. What I'm going to do is this. I'm going to put the drink right here. I'm going to put the drink right there. I'm going to come back and get the drink. And we're going to see if it's still there in like 30 minutes when I come back for it. It's a test. It's a test to see if everyone in this city is gonna steal anything. Like, in everything they see. Anything and in everything they see. I got a stick. I got pepper spray and a stick. Nobody's gonna fuck with us. Victor, even if it means ditching me, you make sure my camera stays safe. So, number one priority camera. Number one priority camera. Okay. I don't care about my life. I care about that damn camera, though. Right. Hello. How are you? Good. How, good, good, good. We're doing a documentary. Do you mind if we interview you? I don't know. You don't know? Oh, no worries, man. It's okay. It's okay. Hi. How are you? We're doing an interview, uh, like a documentary. Can we interview you? Documentary? Give you like ten dollars. No? Okay. I'm so fucking sketched. I really am. Alright, Victor, let's, uh, should we go this way or this way? Up to you. Alright, let's go this way. Let's, uh, stay careful, though. Stay, stay on it. Stay, stay alert. What's up? Yeah, the front's fine. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. It's a smoke shop, that's cool. There's a rat right here. There was a rat. Go, get, get down, there's a fucking rat right there. If you look in that tunnel, there's legit a fucking rat. Walking Dead existed, this would be it. In a town where nobody lives and everything is abandoned comes the strange reality of the world and after humans and the life after death. That's okay. It smells so fucking bad over here. Clean, clean, clean it all. Am 
Let's see. Let's figure it out. Where are we going? Where are we going? Let's go this way. What's up, man? We're doing a do I do. Uh, we are doing a documentary. Do you mind if, uh, for $10, do you we interview you? Give me the money now. All right, I got you, I got you. I'm on my way to bring you up. Here you go. Oh, I got you on 20. I got you. I got you, homie. I got you. Let me find it. You know, I'm a cop in it. There's a whole bunch of folks there. Oh, shit, you are a cop. They're killing motherfuckers about you, man. They love you. And a lot of folks love you. I love you. So, can you tell me? You're a rich man, you know. Here you go. All that. That's actually 40. Hell yeah. So, can you can you tell us what's what's going on out here? What's what's happening? Boy, these people had like some type of belt called a magic construction belt, but they had like 64 cars, but three cars was like some ton of money. The, the, a Capitol Hill Federal Reserve day. That's what I don't know. That reserve in blue. And uh, they rich people. They put it all by the banks, by the beach banks. And then they just all piled up by the beach and bought all that shit. All these downtown people. But they was conveyors through the cops that had money. You know what I'm saying? That's how he was born. Whoever locked the door, they can't open it, man. It was mentally crazy that they, these people had so much money. So they legendary. Guys like you, like I say, you got a lot of friends like cops that will kill for you, like me. I love you. Can, can you flash the badge again? I love Show, you. Get, get Capitol nice. Hill. I, I applied to the job, Capitol Hill, Federal Reserve, so that's where the money came from. So what'd you do yeah. as a police officer? Um, I protect people, like bodyguard for you, these guys. But the skyscrapers now, the LAPD, the, they own that shit now, so I own all the cops from me overseas. There's a guy with a little badge, mm -hmm. but you know that's where your money is, the beach, beach banks. It's just a hunch. But man, you you look like a rich cop. You you a beautiful guy. Like I say, you got a lot of friends, cops that will kill motherfuckers about you. It's not about them that's hating you, haters. It's about you, the love, the people that's loving you. You're the best. You're a model, man. You're a beautiful dude. You think I, I look good? You're going to be all right. And your body is built. See, man, the magic construction belt was a hunch that everybody had ton loads of money. And my boy found this money all at the beach. Everybody was at the beach and had overlapped its beaches with the money in beach banks around the area that around beaches, that banks. That's where the money is. And you have to find out through the magic construction belt is a hunch. That's the bone structures in your body that do. Beautiful homes, lying on homes. You couldn't afford them then, so they took them away. The feds, I fired everybody, the government. I was the only person I didn't fire was the president, Trump. You, f you didn't fire Trump? I, I, no, I didn't. I Why? Because like I'm a uh, Mormon too. I changed religion. Really? Jewish okay. Because their money's good. Okay. But man, you know, anything in the world that you might want, man, you can have it. Hell yeah, dude. You're a beautiful guy, man. I love you, man. I love you, too. What's your name? Blue. Blue, nice to meet you. I love you. So what? Remember, so man, with your money in, because you know it's just a hunt. And you're a rich motherfucker. Three in it. You don't even know, man. I'm a three card with a ton load of money. And you're a beautiful motherfucker, man. So what made you not be a police officer anymore? I've been a cop all my life. I'm 59. But these cats are young. Yeah. They don't get it. And they don't... They don't know that was something will happen to them about you because you got a lot of friends that love you. You ain't got to be scared to go nowhere. See, wherever you walk, that's where your money lies. You to walk the rest of it. You could be a billionaire, far as we know, but you gotta find out for yourself where your, where your land and where your money is, and it's legal for you. You can't make no bank rich by no risk of time by leaving your money there, and it's approved. That wasn't mad 13 years ago. So that's why they call it a magic construction yeah. belt. And you know, they had to build their own homes, they built their own foundation, and they built their own income. But the, the bad that gave these cats the money, they had to fly. Only way I could fly Federal Reserve money is to give it away to my mm -hmm. friends. And that's what it was. They just don't remember. 
All right. Thank you for talking to us, man. I appreciate it. Can you get a zoom in on that sign that says Wall Street? This definitely ain't. This definitely ain't Wall Street. What's up? Why would I be mad? Not mad. No. You're a nice guy. I like you, man. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're. Man, y'all take it easy. Hey, just holler, man. Need some help. Some help. You. You're a bodyguard. You said. Man, if you're over in a five four in a glass case with a lock on that motherfucker, something happens to you. So. I, I use this thing here to I do may, I may need a bodyguard. Yeah. I may. I don't know I'm though. Right here. I'm going to be something to eat I'm hungry. You're always here? I live right here. Okay. I own this building me and the sheriff next door. Got you. Okay. That's, I love you, man. Nice to see you, man. Really want to open up to us, so. Let's go back this way. Let's go back this way. The internet's... Yo, are we live? Are we live? Alright, we are live? Alright, good. Alright, so apparently the, over there is bad as a dead zone. Right there was like a dead zone. That's fucking weird. Because, I mean, if, we, if we're gonna, if we're gonna die, if we're gonna die, I at least want to get on fucking... I at least want to get on video, right? Hold on just a second, let me find my shit. Okay. If we're gonna die, I at least want to get this shit on video. See what's up. Go to Little Tokyo. Huh. Yeah, I mean this was it. This it was, it's one road. That's it. It's one fucking road with people. And we talked to that guy, and that's that's why I didn't really want to come here because none of them make any sense. Like they're all out of their mind. So none of, if they don't make any sense, it's not really good content because you can't really talk to them because it just. What they say just doesn't mean anything. So it's like kind of, it's like they're, they're just, they're too out of it, you know what I mean? But we gave them 40 bucks, made his day a little bit better. Hopefully, uh, hopefully he doesn't uh, use that for anything bad, but, you know, who knows, he might. He, as soon as he put, when he got that screwdriver, I was a little bit nervous, but he wasn't going to do nothing. It's all good. Getting, it is getting dark, yo. Uh, I don't even know what address we are in right now, so I don't know how to tell them our address. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll text you the address right now, dude. I can just say the intersection. Third uh, Street in LA. Third Street in Los Angeles Road. Because we have no road right now. Los An Third Street and Los, Al Los Angeles Road is where we are, dude. Let me see. Excuse me. Excuse me. This street, what is this intersection? Uh, is LA Road? Yeah, that's it. Is. Okay. Is China a communist country? I don't know. Me neither. Where the fuck is our friend? Hello. How are you? How are you? Uh, we're going this way. How are you? Oh, that's not mine. No, I didn't leave it. No, no. I found this though. I don't know if you want this. I found it. It's a yeah. It's a Swifter cleaner. It can be used. Yeah. What do you think? Like uh, some kind of stick or something? Yeah. Well, somebody might want it uh, for their floor or something. You know, just, just clean it off because it'll come off. Yeah, you could probably like sell it. For like ten dollars or something. They, when the, oh no, they ain't gonna pay that much. They they take advantage of homeless people. 
<laughs> How much do you think they're going to buy it for? Probably two or three bucks. That's it? Yeah, serious. Yo, what's up? Yo, stop! Stop! They Come do, here! They do that even if it's new. Really? Yeah, they, they take advantage of it. Fuck, dude. I wanted them to stop so we get a ride. Yeah, maybe he's diving around the corner. I don't know. What's your name? Daryl. Daryl, nice to meet you, man. Uh, yeah. I'll be picking up a lot of stuff, man. I don't huh. want to shake your hand, you know. No I worries. I even have gloves, but I forget to put the gloves on, you know, because I like working with my bare hand. No worries. It gets dangerous, you know. So, we're doing a documentary. Um, can you tell us, Skid Row, is it, how dangerous is it actually? It's very dangerous. Tell us about it. Well, you know, it's, it's, it's mostly mental people, people with mental problems. They don't know what they doing is right or wrong. And uh, some people take advantage of that, even though they know they, they don't know no better, you know? They, they, they get hurt and they hurt people. Yeah. And, uh, and then you have the other part of drugs. And uh, not far from where I sleep is the guy got killed yesterday on Gladys and uh, Sixth Street. Stabbed or uh, shot? Yeah, this is right on Gladys and Sixth Street, and it's a it's a little place called Hippie Kitchen. That's where they serve homeless. And it's and this guy he been bullying people. You know he saw like a he he like control that block whenever he come and sell dope. He tell people to get off the block. Uh, so they killed him. Yeah, he got into an argument with somebody. Yeah. He every day, every time I see him, he's arguing with somebody. And this time he, he messed with the wrong person. If you go there now, you'll see the candles and stuff. Where is it? On 6th and Gladys, 6th Street. And Gladys? Okay, this is 3rd, uh, so it's 6th and, uh, and you make a left and Gladys. And you see the, the candles and stuff. The candles? Sram, the whatever they call it. Yeah, All right. Yesterday. And this guy, he, I mean, he, he, you know, I hate to say it, but he, he been begging for it. He, he figured he was, you know, when they, when they sell drugs, some of them figure they own the world, you know? And, and they can control you because they can give somebody some drugs to hurt you. Right. Yeah. They what, give what, somebody five or ten on with a drug yeah. get you killed. What would you say the, the drug of choice in Skid Row is? Cocaine, crack cocaine. Cocaine? And, and Gives you that energy. Well... It, it don't get you any, it's a downer, but it's just the high that it gives you, you know. Hmm. That's, that's the most popular drug on the skid row. And then that, that this uh, crystal stuff is picking up, you know. And of course, you always had heroin and stuff, but that, that crack cocaine is the number Yo, one. Yo, sorry, dude. That crack cocaine is the number one. All right, well, thank you for it, talking it, to it, us, it, man. It'll make you, you, you'll sell everything you own, and, and you'd be surprised if some of the people come down. Good job, and they don't know it, but they they get on it, and pretty soon they go go down here. So why why do people choose to be on Skid Row as opposed to anywhere else, like down here? Well, most time people like to hang with people of they, you know, in in they lifestyle. Yeah. Plus, people give out a lot of food, they give out clothes, and <coughs> excuse me, just. You go to any other place, you, you don't feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they, they like a trashy area where they can hide from the cops and all that stuff. You know? Right. Yeah, you feel better over there than you know, up, up in some of these. There's some people up in these areas, but, you know, yeah, that's the number one area of Skid Row. All right, well, thank you for talking to us, man. Oh, okay. Appreciate well, it. I got a lot of recycling to look for because it'd be like 11. 11 or 12 o'clock before I can sell it. That's the only one that opened, and he's way over on Pico and Broadway. How much? Uh, how much do you think you can sell this stuff for? Like, how much do you would you make per day? Would well, you say? Probably 40 bucks. But you got to do a lot of dumpster digging, and you know I pick up some scrap aluminum. You know, you, you got to get everything you can. But it's not only with this, I pick up wooden pallets and, and, and sell those too. Gotcha. All right. Okay. What's up, man? You, you, you guys got to get the sense by any chance. What's I got, up? I mean, a cigarette.
Cigarette. I don't have any money. I just gave my last oh, no. amount of money to the other guy over here. Yeah, they, they, they I'm sorry, dude. 50 cents around here. <laughs> oh, I mean, if there's like a shop, is there a shop around here that has cigarettes? I'll buy you a pack. No, this is. Uh, I don't know. What's up? Oh, there's a market at 3%. 3%, alright. You know where there's a place uh, we can buy cigarettes around here? Yeah. There was one right there. Right there? Right there. Yeah, I, I just passed it. Alright, uh, right, right there you said. Alright, yeah, yeah. We're going to jump in the car. We're going to drive over there if you want to meet us over there. Oh, right, yeah, I'll buy you a pack. What's up, man? Let's make a let's make a left. Let's see if there's a. Shit, dude. Let's let's go take a left. Let's see if we can uh, buy him a cigarette. Oh, you want cigarettes? Yeah. Which, who? That guy we were talking to. This guy? I didn't have any money, but I said to buy him some pack of cigarettes. Oh, I got like three. Uh, let's go let's go to the store right. that he pointed it out to. That's where he's waiting. That that Haitian guy I thought was about to do some weird ass shit. I don't know. It's popping like. A All right, let's let's take a drive by over there too. But let's, oh yeah, here. Two percent. Hold on, everybody. Okay, at least this one isn't smoked. It's like a, it's, yeah, it's like a. Yeah, it's it's fixed. The other one was fucked up. That's why I couldn't. All right, let's do this. Yeah, five dollars. This man deserves forty dollars more. The other guy. I know. We gave the we gave the forty to the wrong fucking guy. And I feel so bad, but we're going to. Uh, we're gonna buy him that the pack of cigarettes that he wants, man. Cause I, I just don't have any cash. I pulled out the cash. But let me see. Uh, uh yo, is this three dollars? Hey, mate, the homies found where Portia works. Go look for her. Uh, ex how did you find out? I guess her name is really fucking. Uh, what happened to your car? What happened? the store at? Someone got stuck in the wheels? I thought they, I, no, I thought they slashed your, I thought somebody slashed your fucking tires and no, we were stuck out here. I was this is like a whole nother country. Where's the fucking store at? Oh, there it is. Yeah, there, there's a store right there. It has fidget spinners on it. Right there. They have cigarettes there? Is this it right here? At the end? Alright, let's go to the end. I, I guess Porsche's a crazy name. Don't do that, guys. Come on. I'm giving you money, so give him the damn money. I, I know. I don't have any cash, though. We have to, I'm going to hit the store and see what they got. Set at the end here. Yeah, right here. So, well, there's a subway. Let's wait for him to catch up here. Or let, on, there's a subway. Maybe he wants some, does he want some food. The subway? What's up? Do you want to? Do you want some Subway or something? Here. No, no, I'm okay. I'm okay. There's, there's a couple cigarettes in there. Okay, that'd be cool. Thanks, man. I'm sorry. I thought it was it. No, no worries. I mean, do you want? Do you want something? I can get you whatever you want. No, I got. I picked up. I didn't take bags. I picked up some You picked those cigarettes and we can't find a store. I feel bad. You know, I see I don't come over here that much and now that's why I didn't know exactly where we was at. I used to stay on that side, but I wanted to try new new ground, you know? Right. Um, Alright. The police just went by, they were looking at us. Oh no, they they they, they don't bother you, honey. They don't you not you not the police aren't don't not a big issue over here. No, and one of the reasons because of your race. You don't you don't look you know, you don't look like a drug addict or anything. Would they bother you? Oh yeah. They what do they do? Well, they they, they want to always want to see if you on parole or probation and you know pat you down and they they always have you know. But I always I'm always recycling and they can see you know. Yeah. You know they they can they can tell who who because you you see a lot of black guys they got new tennis shoes on and they, they don't tie the lace and they got all these. 
big change in new clothes. Around they know, here? They know they're a drug dealer, chances are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a lot of drug dealers hang around here, huh? Yeah, they, they, they know the MO, you know? All right, well, yeah, let's go inside here. Let's see. Get you some stuff. Are you sure? Later on, I, I'm going to want me a cold beer. You, you got like $3. Uh, yeah, it, yeah. It, yeah. I, can guess, I can get cash back. Yeah, let me, let me buy it. it. You don't have to worry about no food. Cause honestly, cause that, I get plenty of food, you know. And All then, right. See, I don't, I, right now, they say, uh, I found this blanket, and, and it's taking up my space. So I, I don't want too much stuff because it's... Eventually, I'll have to come across a big piece of motor or something, and I'll put it on there, man. You know, I'm, I'm serious, but... Yeah, know, I'll, uh, I'll get some cash back. Yeah, hey, I appreciate it. And then it, I'll get you some. Yeah, yeah, no worries. I'm surprised there's an open subway here. This is the most... Doing a live stream? Uh, no, YouTube. Oh, okay. What's Vision? It's got the uh, Vision user group sweatshirt blowing up your spot. No, because he's a sellout. You guys give that homeless guy some money because when you talk to them down there, you gotta pay him. Yeah, we give him some money. They work per per minute. No, oh, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, I mean, they they need money, so. Yeah. Just wondering because a lot of people take take advantage of them. They think they're funny. What do you they mean? Got, they got messages. I mean, people take their attention and they don't pay for it. Like who? People walking by, streaming. You know. How many? How many people walk by streaming? I don't know, man. So is this like a? Is that a? Only downtown LA. So. This situation down there for content. Yeah. Just pay it back. Yeah. Okay, I dig that. And where do we, what do you uh, what do you do? I'm a programmer. And you work like around here? Yeah, I'm upstairs. From here? Yeah. Is this not like a sketchy place to work? I work from home, so uh, my home is actually sketchier. Yeah, if you were up there. So you don't mind walking? Yeah. Around here at night? No, Does it bother you? But and you've been robbed? I haven't. Walking around with equipment like that might get jacked. True that. Hold on. I'll just adjust the bit rate a little bit. Yo, uh, you can do cash back, right? Now, do you know where's ATM around here? Where's that? It's in Broadway. All right. Thanks. I wish the cops would start doing this. When, when uh, a lot of homeless people they have pets, I mean some nice little puppies. Yeah. And they don't they don't take they don't treat them right, man. They just want to have them. <coughs> this one guy got two little chihuahuas. I mean they beautiful, and he keep them every time I see them. They in a the same height, and about that much two of them inside that much space, and and they most stay locked up like a couple of days unless he he go somewhere and take them. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't even have, they just have enough room to turn around, that's it. You know, and I, I really feel bad because they have some real nice puppies, man. You know, and they just, and then sometimes they, you can see them, they, they barking and whining. And, and if, if the owner is not outside, I, I sneak and pour some water in a cup or something. And man, they, they go at it, I mean, they just right away, they drink it up. And, I, you know, they don't, they don't cost Sometimes water kind of hard to get to, especially yeah. at night, you know. And so I always keep a, you know, I find some water and I, I fill up a gallon thing, and and I feed them that water, man. And they go at it like, like I mean, they just they drink it up right away. Hmm. And and I sneak away because some some people don't even want you, you know, doing anything to their pet, you know. Right. Yeah, man. They, you could get into a fight just for doing that. People, Seems like a lot of people. There's a lot of fights around here. Um, oh man, that's. It, 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 is, well, I'm gonna be honest with you. Is blacks is a lot of them is they rather respond violently most of the time than you know. 
I mean, even if, if, if you're talking plain and common, you, you're not rude, they'll just turn a, a ant into an elephant, you know? Yeah, man. That's, I, I, I think and that, that's, that's only the, the, the blacks? Well, major, uh, majority of them are in this Skidrow area. They, they, a lot of them is gang members because you hear them called cuz and this all the time. Yeah. And when, when they say that, I get going, man. I get going. Cause you don't want to deal with that. No, it's hard to, it's hard to talk plain to them because sometimes you talking plain, you could be starting a, an argument, you know? Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> they don't do cash back here. Um, they said there was a 7-Eleven over there. Yeah. I could do cash back at the 7-Eleven. Yeah. I don't know. Is there one, like, right here or... Well, I wouldn't, I would have no idea. You, you had to Google it. Let's see. He said it was right down here. I don't see it, though. I don't see it. Uh, do you have, like, any cash? I never care. I didn't even bring my wallet. Fuck. I can't hold you guys up, man. No, I, I gotta give you some. Hold on. I got feedback, dude. You're a nice guy. Here you go, dude. Here, get yourself a pack of cigarettes. Oh my god. And everything, man. Just whatever you need, man. Hey. Just thanks for talking to us, you know. The, the, you know, hey. You know. Girls just dap, dap it. It's all good. Yeah. You know, man. You guys. You know, like, like. I'm on one more thing before I go. Like, is this this one white guy came by last night? I was pushing him the buggy loan. He had a BMW, then a like a new BMW, and he wanted to have sex. Black guy. He, the dude wanted to have sex with a black guy? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's happened a lot. You know, he wanted to pay, and then I had my bug, I had so much stuff, I didn't want to leave it, you know? <coughs> but sometimes, what they offer you is, you are you are think, you know, because cause, uh, what he offer, it, it take me like a week sometimes to make that kind of money. Right. But, but you know, I feel sorry for the guy because he, he'll pick up somebody and, and, and they, they'll turn out to be his worst nightmare, you know? Yeah. So did he find a dude to have sex I'm with? I'm pretty sure he did, you know, because when you're in the schedule and you offer him cash, that, that'll do it. Do you, if he offered you that, what would you, what would you I, I do? I'd say it, it'll be hard to turn it down, you know? It'd be hard to turn it down. But it's only so far, you know, you can give me a blowjob, but that's it. Right, yeah, yeah, <laughs> but, yeah. You know. Not gonna let you fuck in the ass or anything. That. That's no, what he wants. no, that's he not worth any amount of money. That's, that's, <laughs> that's. I, I wasn't in there, I'm not into that, so. No, that, that's gay. No, seriously. It is gay. But, but then, I'm looking at this guy, this guy, I don't know where he, obviously he, 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 he lives, he don't live in Skid Row, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> but the way he, he was desperate and he's looking for something like that, man, that, somebody and then that would be the last person we pick up, you know. Because they, they, they would kill him. Yeah, you know. Shit, man. And what he was on there, he killed you around here for two or three bucks, you know. I'm telling you, you'd be surprised at how much it happened. It just it don't be in the news. Yeah, that's that's fucked up, man. How many, so how, how often people die around here, you think? Oh, man, you, you could you could go, you could, uh, some of them, of course, I, I don't, I wasn't there when it happened, but some, some place you could see a shrine, uh, Rip, rest in peace or whatever, and <coughs> you know, and then that sum is a murder. But uh, <coughs> you, you just, you know, it happens a lot. But like I say, it don't hit the newspaper because it's, it's not newsworthy. It's fucked. Yeah. All right. Well, it's been nice but, talking but, to you, man. What well, that one happened yesterday? That was that was like it, it kind of surprised me because. I go over there a lot at that, at that place and eat. That, it's called Hit the Kitchen on Six and Gladys. But and this one guy, man, he just you could be going in a dumpster. Hey, get away from there, you know, because he he be putting dope nearby. Yeah. yeah. But how do you know? You know, and you you can see the cans and bottles, and then he wants you to buy dope from him, but he don't want you to get the cans and bottles. And, you know, get away, man. He he have a stick in his hand and like yeah. So well, how do you protect yourself? Well. Actually, I don't have no weapon, but, you know, I swing this at a person if I have to, but <laughs> a lot of times I just try to avoid it. Yeah. Like, <clears throat> not too long ago, a guy came out to me just for the hell of it, and uh, I had found a little broom, a little broom, it, it was good broom, you know, the brushes on, so I kept it, and uh, 
I swung it and I did, I broke it, and he still came at me. So I didn't have no choice. I just started sticking him with whatever was the broke, you know, the jagged edge. Cause I had to, cause he was going to jump on me for nothing. And then this was a Mexican guy. And then another Mexican guy came down on a bike. He had three beer bottles in it on him, and he, he threw them at him. So that guy was picking on anybody. Yeah, I get it, man. Yesterday I had a guy try to steal my socks yeah. out of my bag. Mexican guy. Mm -hmm. you, you never know what's what, man. These, they're drunk. Yeah. You guys had a good night. <coughs> <coughs> All right, well, we got to go. It's been okay, nice talking hey, to you, man. Now you got to take care of me, and God bless you. God you bless. That, man. They, they can be drunk, but as long as they mind their own business, they just cop one bottle. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, see you, man. You too. Why the fuck is that dude bringing his girlfriend to Skid Row for a date? That's so fucking weird. Dude, I feel so bad for that guy. I feel so fucking bad, dude. I got you, I'll pay you 20. So, uh, no, it's, it's on me. I, I'll pay you 20. Dude. No. Alright, show us the bath part. I mean, the sun has gone down, so let's see what's really bad around here. Are these all, I can't tell if these are all closed stores or they're, or they're just, they're just closed for today. Like, I can't tell if they're abandoned or just closed for today because it's laid out. What the fuck is Tokyo Beats? Go to Tokyo Beats to find Porsche? Uh, that's some stalker shit, dude. That's some fucking stalker status. You could tell her that she mentioned it in the conversation. Uh, but she didn't, and I think she would remember that. I think she would know. Where, how far, let me see, Tokyo Beats, let me see how far this shit is. Tokyo Beats. I feel like that's not a good idea, though. It says it's closed, for one. She said she was going to work. It's a three-minute drive. I mean, I, we can go past it. I'm, I'm down. That's so weird. She's going to be like, how'd you find my work? And we're gonna be, I'm going to be like, I don't know. Just just did? Like, what am I going to say to that? Yo, go get your drink from the left street corner, and it's fine. No, it's, that's not a good idea. Yeah, this is bad. That's not a good idea, everybody. That's just some stalker shit right there. That's some stalker status. Yeah, this place is pretty ghetto. Fuck it, dude. Whatever. Let's go to the, uh... Let's go to the, uh... The, the place. Let's see, uh... How did you even find her work? That's so fucking weird. Oops. Uh, alright. So, go... On 6th Street. 6th Street is behind us? Uh, I don't know. Let's just keep going straight. Yeah, just keep going straight. Then make a right. Make a right on 4th Street. Oh, it's like a three, it's like three minutes away, y'all. Yeah, this is horrible. This is fucked. Alright. Uh, yeah, so a right, right. It says it's closed, and then it's right, and then it's the, the place is like right here. She works in Skid Row. No. Bro, she's way too cute for that. People thought she was Japanese. I was joking. Alright, then make a left right here. That? Yeah. You said 6th Street, right? Uh, it's, no, nah, not anymore. It changed. The girl who got away. Can't let that happen. Oh, so so instead we're gonna we're gonna stalk her and find her. Yeah, that's a good mention in the conversation. We just searched up the nearest uh, bar and they have a Yeah, we were just going to get a drink. Oh you oh you what are you doing here? Alright, then it's past uh, it's right up here. Just keep going straight. It's right up here to the right. What are these fucking remixes? All right, it should be past the street on the other side of the street, right behind the bank here. 
example, right? She works, like, right across the street from the fucking Starbucks that we were just at. It says it's closed on the map. This might actually be like illegal. This is like borderline stalking. Like I didn't find her, but y'all, y'all fucking found out. Y'all found her. She told you where she worked. She told you she worked in that kind of bar and stuff. <laughs> yeah. All right. So it should be like right up here. So it's like take a right up here. Take a right up here. Oh, okay. It's like in this plaza. People are already stalking her on Insta. Tell her. So tell her something convincing. Oh, fuck. If people are going on her Instagram, I don't think anything I can say is going to save me now. I'm surprised. Like, how the fuck did you even find her from just her first name? What the fuck? This bar right here? It's, like, right here somewhere. It's, like, right here. It should be, like, right exactly, like, right here. It doesn't say uh, the Tokyo one, though. Oh, uh, little Tokyo? No. Tokyo Beat. Oh, right. Oh, no. Yeah, just keep going straight. It's one of these fucking places. Little Tokyo. It's fucking lit, dude. It's a little, little sushi shop. No, it's full. There's a lot of full. I don't see where the Tokyo Beat is. Here's a taco truck. You want to get off here? I'll wait here. There's parking for me. <laughs> Do you guys really think it's a good idea to go into a restaurant and be like, hi? I feel like that's just, like, disrupting her privacy. That's her place of work, and I don't feel like it would be... I don't feel like it's... I don't, I don't think it's a good idea to go in there. Because I would feel really bad if, you know, people were harassing her work. Like, you know what I mean? You want me to go and get her number? I just act ignorant. Like, just walk in. <laughs> it'd be hard to act ignorant if people are... Motherfucking calling and shit though. Let's uh let's just go in and get a drink. so weird, man. Where's the anime girls at?
runner shirt, okay? Let's all get some sushi and hit some bars in Little Tokyo. I'd love to meet you. Uh, not right now, Greg. Not, maybe later. Not right now, though. I'm kind of hungry now. You want some food? It's one of these fucking shops. It said it was in this plaza. It's one of these fucking shops. But I don't see it anywhere. Where the fuck? I don't see it. I don't see it. Excuse me. Do you know where uh, Tokyo Beats is? Um, it's, I'm not 100% sure it should... Are you filming me? Yeah. It's um, upstairs and to the right, I think. Okay. Or that's where Zenko Sushi is. Have you tried looking for it on uh, Yelp? Yeah. I have no idea. I'm sorry. Here's so. I think. Probably. Okay. Yeah, Thank you. Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> like your hair color. Thank you. I use Ion. Please don't film me. Okay. Why, why the fuck so triggered? Why the fuck so triggered? At least she was nice enough to give us the information. Upstairs, huh? Where the fuck's the upstairs at? Monkey pants? What the fuck are we? What kind of store is this? store is this? It's a kid store. What do you sell? Clothing for kids. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is, does she work here? Nope. Interesting. Closer. We, have, we found the stairs, we're getting closer. Let's go up. Dude, there was some girl dressed as the motherfucking little, as, as the, what's it called? Baked cake girl. What's her fucking face? Like Lil John, that little John remix. Baked cake. You know that fucking song? She's dressed as her. Fucking weird. What kind of fucking mall is this? Most ghetto fucking mall I've ever seen. Excuse me, do you know where Tokyo Beats is? Tokyo Beats? You know where that is? No worries. Let's go inside the, down here. Let's, let's just figure this shit out. Somebody's gotta fucking know. Did I walk past it? Was it? Did I actually? No, I didn't. I've been, I look, I've been looking at all these fucking stores, dude. You trolled me for the Ouija board. I'm not gonna let you troll me this, this shit. Trading cards? Yu-Gi-Oh! In 2017? Exodia. No? Yeah, anything that's in this case is not for sale. Dang it. Uh, I'm 
Do you guys have a Oh, you do? Yeah, I have them in my binder in my pocket. For how much? A dollar for the whole set. That's it? But that's, that's Exodia. What's the most valuable Yu-Gi-Oh card? Right now, it's something called Dragonic Diagram at ninety-seven dollars. Why? No, that in general is. Oh well, that's if you're not counting the prize cards, dude. Because the most expensive card in Yu-Gi-Oh card right now is Stardust Divinity. Yeah. Why? There's only fifty have been printed. Yeah. It's a card that's worth about like fifteen thousand dollars. What the fuck? Yu-Gi-Oh card? Yeah, it's only been printed, uh, they only printed like 50 because there was a whole nuclear disaster or something. What the fuck? This is some intense history right here. Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah, for a dollar, huh? Yeah, they're cheap, dude. Like, well, I sell them all because it's like, they're each like a worth a quarter, but like, I just sell the whole set for like Because they're like, just cheap. You, dude, you got all the cards. I got a lot, but not all of them. Holy shit, dude. Here we go. Uh, how, many, how many Exodias do you have? Um, I'm seeing right now because I have the evil ones. Here. Here. Okay, so I have his two legs, his arm. valuable card you have? Uh, it's a card for another game named Vanguard. It's a, it's a card named Asha, and the card's like $97 that I have in it. $97? Yeah. I have a red eyes. Do you have a, uh, what's it called? Uh, Wing Dragon of Raw? Are those uh, still expensive or no? Uh, not anymore because they printed them out again like a lot of times. I don't know why they do it, but like it makes the cards like not as special as they used to be. Oh, here you go. Yeah, it's not a piece, but it's like the evil version of them. Like Exodia Necros. Yeah. Exodia Negro Necros. Necros. Yeah. Or Necros, you could say. Yeah, it's like him if he was dead or something. And is, why is this card so weak? Um, actually, it's surprisingly strong because as long as you have like the pieces in the graveyard, he just can't die, and he just gets stronger every turn. Dang, yes. you don't want these? No, I could target those. I'm gonna yeah, because, like, I guess I could just do a dollar for all of them. Dude. They're all worth like a quarter anyways. Well, I, don't have, I don't have a dollar on me. Oh, they do cash back? I have a battery. Uh, I don't know. I don't think they do cash back because they only take card. They only take like a card and cash, but if you take card, you have to get something that's like at least like 10 bucks. Huh? Oh, no, if you guys did cash back, but you guys don't. Yeah, well, what can I know. What can I do for these cards? Well, you could just take them, dude. It's cool. Oh, do you have a PayPal? I have a PayPal. What is your, wait, I, what is your PayPal? I will send you money. Uh, H. Well, actually, I'm live streaming. Do you want to say your PayPal to everybody so they can all send you money if they want? <laughs> it's cool, dude. It's like personal information. I'll just give Oh, yeah, I don't blame you. Here, I'll mute the microphone. I'll just, I'll send you that. I can't log into my PayPal. Can I write your email down? Yeah, you know, I'll send it when I get home. Or do you trust me? It's just weird. Huh? Yeah, it's fine. Just write it down, dude. It's fine. You can write it down and send it to me later. Yeah, 
I just have another phone number that I use to log into PayPal. It's not that one. Two-step verification for, my pay, for PayPal on another phone. It's all get hacked. It's kind of annoying, to be honest. Do you know where Tokyo Beat is? Huh? Tokyo Beats. Tokyo Beats? Um, the, the restaurant? I'm not sure. Alexis! Oh, here's the email. Alexis, do you know where uh, Tokyo Beats is, the restaurant? It's uh, upstairs, actually. Yeah, right it's upstairs. Up yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I, it sounds familiar, so I, guess, yeah, it's I thought we were up there. All right, we'll, we'll go take a look. Thanks, guys. Yeah, there's some so stairs right here, too. Yeah. You go upstairs, and then, like, it's good to be here, right? Like, literally up here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'll try it. Thank you, dude. No problem. Do you guys want to... I feel like, yeah, I'll send you the money on PayPal. All right, for sure. I feel like, I feel bad, though. I don't have a dollar on me. That's cool. It's cool, man. The cards are, like, they're cheap anyway. They're barely worth, like, a quarter each. Okay. Yeah, dude, they're not as expensive as they used to be. All right, well, thanks, guys. I will, I'll send you that money. We were, we were just upstairs. Are we fucking blind? Are we blind? Are we stupid? Oh, there's an ATM. I can't. I, 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 can, I can only pull out a 20, not a dollar. I'll just send him one dollar on PayPal when I get home. All right. Oh, okay, that's it. Dude, I'm so afraid. I don't, because... Be low key, be low key. Oh, you're here. What the hell? What are you? What the? How the fuck? What is this place? How are you still calling? This is. Is this? So it's not you. What? No, no. Somebody's calling here like 600 times. No, so I, I was walking around Tokyo and people said to come in here. I can see why now. Okay. Let's just go. Let's just go. What? Yes. yes, yes, yes. Sorry. No, it, I, it, it's, it's the people watching. Okay, yeah, well, I figured that out. Um, okay, okay. It, I... <laughs> Sorry. Okay. sorry, 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 sorry. I know, I know. Sorry, 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 sorry. Dude, this is so awkward, dude. 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 I know. I know. Now we. Now she the one who got away because of some because of because of those motherfuckers, dude. The one that got away because of those motherfuckers. Oh God. Dude, I feel so bad, man. I knew, I knew it, dude. People, I knew it, man. I feel so bad. I feel, I feel bad for her because they're probably saying some. I don't know. Did you hear the guy's background? The phone? Yeah, he's like puta, man. I feel bad. What the hell, Spanish guy owned a Japanese restaurant? I feel so bad, dude. Where's our car at? Where are we? Where? Oh, it's you again. Oh. Hello. Sorry, we're just doing a live stream. Oh. We're just recording myself. I'm a narcissist. I voted for Hillary. I also voted for uh, uh, humanitarian rights. I said it. I love you. I love you, dude. I love you. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. I also voted for uh, women in the military. I think our car is this way. God. God damn it. I don't remember how we got, where we came to get through here. 
God, dude. God, dude. I think it's this way. I'm, st I'm still like cringing, dude. That was the, that was the hardest. That was hard. Like I don't cringe at anything really, but I'm just cringing because I feel bad for the girl, man. Like I. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> Sorry. Dude, there's so many Japanese people here. I do not fit in at all. I feel so out of place. I feel like... I don't know, dude. I just feel weird. I, I feel like... I don't know. I, I mean, I'm the minority. I feel... I feel like people are looking or staring. They, 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 I don't know. I'm like... like I don't know, bro. Like they don't like me, so... Time to go home. It's time to go home, Victor. It's time to go home. But before we go home, we're gonna take uh, some food here. Stuff from the fucking van. Food van. Motherfucking Japanese food van, so. Oh, this is ice cream. What the fuck? Where the food at? What it do? I like the songs. Hell yeah. You my senpai. Hell yeah. What's up? Hell yeah. Bro, I don't want any of this. Motherfucking Japanese people listening to fucking Mask Off by Future. Where's the fucking food at? That's not sushi and shit. Everything around here is fucking sushi and fish. I like sushi because I want something fast. Sushi takes forever to make. Well, let's just go. Let's go in there. They that's a convenience store. So I can get like a bag of chips or something. Oh, I know. We're just gonna get a bag of chips real quick. Yeah. I have no idea what this is. Japanese apparel and food? Japanese culture? Uh, this is Japanese, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's get some beer. Some beer? Oh, hell yeah. Where are you from? Australia. You live here? No. I'm here for a whole day. Oh, how long? Uh, a couple months. Nice. Australia, that's near Japan, isn't it? Yeah, sort of. So you're familiar yeah. with this type of stuff? Uh, not really, no. Cool. Japanese stuff is good. Yeah. Hell yeah. I'm oh, sorry. Lube? Oh, shit. 
liquid version? What the hell is this? Can I get some liquid version as well? Oh, I charged it already. You gotta buy? Yeah, yeah. Can, I, can we recharge? What is this? Create a tight, wet feeling. Okay. I'm, I'm, be, I'm gonna use that tonight. What's up? Hell yeah, what's up, bro? What's up, bro? No, okay, no worries, yeah. Sex life, liquid virgin, create a tight, wet feeling. Dude, I'm masturbating hardcore tonight. I'm gonna fucking come so hard. Liquid Virgin. Yo, what's up, Ice? Some liquid, some liquid, some. Look at this. I got. Ice beside it. Mm-hmm. What's up? Bro, let me take a what's picture up, with you. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? How old are you guys? I'm 13. What the bro. fuck? <laughs> you want a picture? Okay. Ice beside it. The only one. Ice beside it. What's up, man? Taken. You streaming right now? Yeah. I love it. It's a happy stream, bro. What's up, man? Peace and love. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. How long you gonna watch it for? Oh, of course. What's up, dude? Yo, what's up? CX. CX, dude. Tell your mom. Tell your mom. Another one? Yo, you gotta pay me double for that shit. I'm John. I see ya. Yeah. Fuck! We missed a light! Thank you. Missed the light, but we made it. All right, thirteen, dude. What the fuck? All right, where's he parked at? We gotta get out of here before we get my fucking beat up. Before we get shot. They were born. They were born when I was in middle school. Yeah, what's up, dude? Don't even, just, just read it. My ass tonight. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Jaywalking, it's okay. Let's see how this tastes. Would you like any? I think these are like, uh, I think these are like Japanese Cheetos, cheese flavor. Japanese Cheetos. Japanese Cheetos. I'm good. I'm good. Oh god. Oh, good shit. I would test the lube on stream, but. I'll just tell you about it later. Now, I honestly have no idea what this is. What the fuck is this? Like a french fry? It's like spicy beef jerky ramen flavored french fries. Okay, I'll save this later for when I smoke weed. I need another. I'm definitely coming. This is only like 15 minutes away from my apartment. I'm, de I'm definitely coming back here daily to get my fucking food. 
Okay, fuck the... Uh, this shit is way better than American snacks. This shit tastes so good. This fucking Japanese shit is so fucking nice. Mm. Let me read the directions on the lube. Why do they call it liquid virgin? I guess because when you're jacking off, it, sound, it feels like a virgin's pussy. Let me see. What's the directions? Apply a few drops as desired to to area. 15 minutes prior to any activity for desired results in moisture. Okay, it's for the girl's pussy. It's for the girl's pussy. It's not... I'm about to use the... I'm going to use it to masturbate, though. It's all the same thing. Sold as a novelty only? The fuck's that mean? We got cops following us. No, we don't. I'll open it later. What a girl's pussy. Alright, well, it is again about that time, everybody. It's again late, and motherfucking, I'm going back to my apartment to use this fucking liquid virgin. Victor, you redeemed yourself 100%. I don't care what people on Reddit say. You were not scared of Skid Row. I was fucking nervous. You were not nervous, I can tell. So if Reddit, Reddit can't say anything bad about you. I don't really care what they say. I just want to, you know, shoot stuff. And, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just more exciting. We just need to, we need to plan out things because... Well, we have to hit up those guys that showed us the last the asylum because they, they had all that crazy shit. Oh, yeah, yeah that's right. I don't, do you have their numbers, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, hit them I, up. Yeah, I will. Hit them up and let them know, dude, because uh, like, uh, I don't have their number. Gold carting in that island and shit, like... An island? Yeah, what's that island just next to... Oh, yeah, okay. They were saying that, or the, the plane rides. I don't know if you'd be able to stream that. We could try. Yo, is Tightening Lube Rolf makes her pussy tight? Alright, well, I could try that on motherfucking somebody. Alright, well, we're gonna go. Uh, before we go, let's do uh, what we did last night, which was hosting another YouTube live channel, because it's fun and creates a sense of community inside of the YouTube live. So I'm gonna post their link. Then I'm going to see y'all motherfucking later. Let me see. Who's live right now? That's not a 24-hour motherfucking uh, television shit that steals fucking shit. Family guy. Let me see. GTA 5. See what the fuck? Half this shit is like movies and shit. Sunday night drinks and lottery. No. No, she's she don't speak English. No, this guy. He's got a mask on, but he's Japanese. How about this old guy? Nah, he's old as shit. Nah. LeBron James? What the fuck? No. I don't know. I'll just do this guy because he's playing RuneScape. Oh, fuck, I can't do it on fucking mobile. All right, never mind. All right, we'll see you guys later. No, I can't do it on mobile. It doesn't work. Call Gay Show? Uh... Not right now. I want to go home and do other stuff. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll trust us. Well, we got plenty more. We got plenty of time for Geisha, everybody. Okay. Oh yeah. Uh, stop by an ATM so I can pay you back. Oh no! Don't worry about. It. If anything, just send it back to my PayPal. Okay, I'll just I'll send it to your PayPal. Okay. That works. All right, I'll just call Geisha. Uh, not right now on stream, or at all. Tomorrow, we'll do some shit with her. Alright, well, I'll see you guys, or I'll, I mean, I, I'm not gonna, like, ignore her, I text her after this. I have another fucking, I'm gonna go home right now. She tweeted? She tweeted, let's see. say anything. To be honest, I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just like driving straight. Oh, no. I'll text her. I'm going to go, though. I'm going to see you guys later. Peace out. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye. I love you.